I didn't know, honestly. You stole I didn't steal, own no, no, headphones. No, no, I didn't steal them. I bought them and then never opened the box <laughs> and never brought them over here and just thought I did. Yeah, because that was at the time whenever we were like, we're going to have like 17 yeah, people on the show. <laughs> 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 and I was going through my closet the other day, and I just found the Amazon. I was like, what the fuck is this? And well, I opened it up, and there's headphones in there. And nice I was like, to know oh, I've been gaslit for over eight months. <laughs> <laughs> you go, I don't I know, told, dude. Where'd you put the fucking headphones, dude? I John, told him, right? John, you're fired. No, you're fired, yeah. John. John, here's you're what, fired. Here's I what I remember table. is uh, you making Devin like ask a bunch of friends. Yeah, you're like, dude, ask fucking Richie, ask Jace, ask ben. anyone you're who's like, been here. Fucking cocksucker Ben, dude. Who's that cocksucker Ben? <laughs> I literally hit him. everyone up, almost like acting like somebody <laughs> had stolen from me. You, you look crazy, dude. dude. I like rifled through Ben's like studio. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck, Ben? I know I fucking brought him. <laughs> Shut the fucking dog up! Shut the fucking dog up! <laughs> yeah, I killed Gracie. <laughs> oh, well, that's uh, nice to know. Yeah. I don't have to use these stupid. Look at, I don't even have any fucking. I'm on a leash here. Is that yeah, you? You're just the way I like you, man? Yeah. Have you always been? No, because I had to buy these when we had the the pedophile hunter on. Yeah. Because we didn't have, because John didn't was lying to me oh, and didn't bring right, the headphones. Right, right. Now my so we didn't have enough, so got I had to it, go out it, to Best it. Buy and buy these headphones, which suck. By the way, pedophile hunter, Colin Shoemaker, he has not, he won't post our card uh, reveal. I think that it was we did. bad. I think it was bad. You know, it's we have to be doing something wrong if, if we're a bad look for a pedophile hunter. <laughs> <laughs> well, so it yeah. was like he does these card pulls, and you, he has he has a format for it, and he has like a cast of guys, and he does it, and they all cheer in the background, and that's a big part of it because the cast the cast of guys wasn't there to cheer. I he guess. didn't have Trey Lamb. Which hurt. <laughs> and then <laughs> I'm, I'm I was so lost. I was fucking for. I have no clue, you guys. But no, like he's got a bunch of cheerleaders in the background usually, mm -hmm. and they're parodying a, a real card pull thing where everybody yells. So yeah. I don't know. Ours. Well, my guess is that ours probably didn't have that. They so probably just, they sucked. Work. Yeah, we were all like, "What the fuck is this?" He yeah, had to we didn't explain it, and then we're like, "All right, sure, we'll say whatever you want." We didn't get it. He was just getting our fingerprints. <laughs> 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 well. Anyway, guys, they got Masterson. Oh, Danny it's the worst day of my life. Masterson. I mean, one of <laughs> my favorite actor. One of, one of Hollywood's best, finest actors. Connor's been in a bad mood all day about this. I, I, I can't even talk to my girlfriend. <laughs> Sean Penn's at the Oscars. He's like, Danny Masterson, one of Hollywood's finest actors. <laughs> this is he's, he's on the in memoriam. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. Let's just, there's a little news story on it. Let's check it out. He shows actor Danny Masterson has been sentenced to 30 years to life in prison for the rapes of two women. The judge issued the sentence to the 47-year-old <laughs> actor. I, am I crazy? I, here's the, that's a lot. That's a lot for two. I mean, like. That's a lot. Don't mean to be like a rape. I'm, I'm going to say right now. <laughs> I, don't think it's enough. I don't think it's enough. I, so. yeah. I mean, like, like 30 years to life. Well, you know what? There's not really any info on how they like what the evidence was or how I mean you know this is, is there's some women saying that they were raped. There's no info, but there's no. There has to be. It, it wasn't happened in a like, trial. It happened in like 2003. They came out with it like you know. <laughs> he better be making like human later. centipedes in his fucking house. And, well, he drugged them apparently. Okay. And oh, all if that. he drugged them unconscious and it was like a full actual rape, then you 15 years each rape. That makes yeah. sense. But, yeah, makes sense. but that happens all the time. And if there's not actual like evidence, evidence, like how do you, how do you, how does anyone actually know if they were drugged? Well, they, uh, that, the lawyers had to, you know, show this. Must be pretty good. I mean, listen, I know like everyone here knows I'm a rape apologist, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but this is non-biased, my this opinion. This is a non-biased one. And like, I, I think he did it because he's a Scientologist. Yeah. And they're already insane. And you don't want to know, this also marks the end of Scientology's run. Like, if they can't protect Masterson. Well, I think it might be bigger <laughs> than that. Tom Cruise is like, what am I even here for? <laughs> <laughs> Tom Cruise. Guys, we're jumping ship. Yeah. Tom Cruise is raping a bungee cord right now. <laughs> Travolta's like, oh, I've, I got a bunch of masseuses that are going to be coming after me. <laughs> Tom Cruise skydives, just rapes clouds. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be bigger than that then because that mean I feel like it might be like Scientology turned on Masterson. Right. Could be something like that. Well, I yeah. think they uh, you know, even uh, Ida. Yeah. Ida had a night with Masterson. 
Don't say it like that. Back yeah, in the you got to. You got to. They didn't do anything. It, you said it like that. Something might have no, happened. No, he did. Yeah, my girlfriend was one of the two <laughs> women who accused Masterson. No, 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 no. But Masterson <laughs> they had a night. Yeah. Masterson didn't rape. Uh, didn't rape my girlfriend. She, she, we all seen her. She's a uggo. So <laughs> <laughs> why would he? Masterson saved his rapes. Okay. Yeah. Used them wisely. He had yeah. two. They were like Hadoukens. <laughs> like she's gonna. <laughs> like she. Like he'd rape a podcast. Yeah, come on, he's standing. <laughs> he's got his bag limit. Yeah, so, but yeah, Ida, Ida like, hung out with him and uh, his boy, uh, uh, Michael Pena, out in Texas yeah. one night. And, like, like, you know, they, like, drove around, had, like, a great night. Ida said he was, like, the most charming, wonderful man she had ever met. So this is just the info I have. I don't know. And so Ida's really against him being charged with this. Are you serious? I mean, she just doesn't know where the evidence is. Oh God! Has any has she looked into the case? But I, here's the thing about Ida: she loves rape. She, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, shouldn't this should be legal? <laughs> she's Iranian. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. exactly. Yeah. It's like mandatory there. Yeah. It's a culture. Yeah, it's a cultural thing. <laughs> it's like a speeding ticket there. <laughs> it's a speeding ticket. Yeah, it's like it's, it's, fuck m- your it's ass. Middle East dog fighting. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, it's weird. The bizarre, you know, the separate degree of separation from me and Masters. So we know nothing about this case. Well, l- l- watch this. They, right. Like, once again, there's, you know, you're kind of wondering, like, but where, like, how do they actually, like, I didn't know testimony was enough to give somebody a 30, uh, 30 years in prison. Well, there has to be more, later. they have to be able to prove, I'm guessing, that there's a fucking bug. I know, by the way. there's a really annoying bug. I'm here. guessing they have to be able to prove, like, I was there on that, that night. He doesn't have an alibi, or like, there has to be more than just. Right. He said, she said. I, sure. I bet. I hope. Well, was it was it 20 years ago? 2003 was when the was when these happened apparently. Oh shit. That's why it's a little like, yeah. right? Right Connor, yeah, yeah. You're, you're you're coming around to me, right? Well, no. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you brought Connor on this episode <laughs> to turn me? <laughs> All right. Hearing impact statements from the two victims. I love he looks like great. by the way, he's got a huge Hollywood family. Like, his wife is Bijou Phillips. She was in, like, Almost Famous. His kids are in, like, one of his kids is in The Walking Dead. Like, it's a whole, oh. it's a whole nepotism Great. fam, you know? Right. And I just love, I love this shot of him with his, like, his black Starbucks coffee. She's got her coffee in her in her mug. And and you can tell they're like, there's no way he's going. You yeah. Know, yeah. Like, like, rich, pri- mate, come on. <laughs> Prison tie. He's wearing a skinny tie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, they just got back from Pink Dot. Like, they're just like a Hollywood couple. By the way, as we watch this, I'm looking up evidence, so I'm not, like, texting or anything. I'm going to try to find Look what evidence. evidence they had. Oh, yeah. you could try. You could try. <laughs> I'm telling you. You'll never get my boy. You'll never get Masterson. Describing the trauma they have suffered from their encounters with Masterson two decades ago, one telling him in the courtroom, quote, when you raped me, you stole from me. Well, this that? all comes well after I mean, okay, he's charging with theft guilty. then. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, well, I mean, it's a little, there's a difference between rape and theft. When, a kid, when, when you stole, so, you know, when you steal from the liquor store, they don't charge you with rape. <laughs> She's like, you stole from me, and I'm simply asking you to give it back. <laughs> give my pussy back. Give it back to me right now. I want my innocence. <laughs> All right, all right. On those two counts of rape in a retrial. Oh, my God. Look at how casually <laughs> sitting. <laughs> Look at that fucking cartoon. All right, that's a rapist. Yeah. Who the fuck is being charged with, with three counts of rape and folds their legs in court? <laughs> it looks like sits. Jimmy Neutron, dude. <laughs> Look at him sitting back like that. That's crazy. Our legal contributor and host of the Law and Crime Network, Brian Buckmeyer, joins us now. Brian, what do you make of the sentence? Uh, I think it makes sense, uh, especially based on the allegations. I think for Masterson and his defense, uh, they came out winning in some respects because the charges were not run consecutively. This could have been 30 and 30 years rather than just 30 years with the possi- with the life in prison, sorry, uh, which basically means that after 30 years, he will have a possibility of going before a parole board and asking to be let out and still be on parole while having some form of liberty. Once again, not a lot of info. Joey, what have you found? So far, nothing. I'm not. That's I'm what not, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. There's like no, an, there's no, it's all anecdotal. There's like no like hard, like cold hard facts. I'm going to keep reading, but so far, nothing. All right. Well, we got Joey on it, folks. So listen, we we have five more minutes or else Masterson's fucking innocent. <laughs> 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 but with allegations like this and no admission of guilt or no remorse, 
That would make it very difficult. Look at him. However, he's all fucking, I think he's just that, doped uh, up on Scientology. In his final moments during his sentencing is him putting all his cards into this appeal. Yeah, there's nothing. Wow. Once again, the most, that was like a nothing story. This is the only evidence that I think we have is, where the fuck did it go? Where did it Which, go? Which, by the way, dude, like if I was on trial for rape, I would be freaking the fuck out. I know yeah. he's just he's just casually walking. Like maybe, every every video of me would just be like, "Oh my god, no, <laughs> no, no! I didn't do it. I promise." <laughs> I know. Yeah. Like the courtroom sketches of me would be like, "No, fuck! <laughs> if, if somebody saw my, my legs would not be crossed." I know. I'd be like, I'll suck your dick, Judge. Please. <laughs> like, I'd be freaking out. You're not sitting like Lex Luthor, like <laughs> yeah, all fucking. That's what I never evil. understand when people are falsely accused of things and they're supposed to act like normal yeah i'm like dude if i was in court for that i would be like are you fucking kidding me <laughs> yeah. are we really doing this dude he really has the demeanor of like a super villain in a like a superhero movie where they're like they realize he wanted to be caught yeah. he's in the prison like this is all part of my plan and he just rapes everyone in prison he just wants to rape more actually yeah that's why he put himself away <laughs> like, you guys have no idea what you did to me all right i'm at a buffet right now yeah. he actually after he raped them he thanked them yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So this is the only thing that was a little interesting. Everyone's like, you know, like Conan is Bay and Conan, this Conan called mind. it, but this is funny. You, you, uh, you have no accent though. You have no Long Island accent that I can discern. Not really. I've been in LA for like ten years, mm -hmm. and it just goes away naturally, right? It, it goes away naturally, and then there's also certain words that there's nothing you can do about. Like my friend Bodie Elfman, he always teases me, and he says, "Hi, my name is Danny Masterson. Would you like to touch my balls?" <laughs> You know, being nope. an imitation of me. Because certain so words why are you, you just asking can't get people to do that? That's the more important question. I mean, you got them. <laughs> yeah, right, right. You know what I mean? Accent aside. Everybody should grab. That's the more important thing. Exactly. <laughs> Um, I've heard about you. Uh, oh, and you'll be caught soon. I know you will. I will. Oh. Dude, we live in a simulation, dude. That's insane. Like, no matter what happens, there's a clip from 20 years ago of somebody being like, yeah, I'm a fucking triple murderer. <laughs> <laughs> then, like, uh, you know, yeah, it was like David Letterman's like, yeah, we all know about that. It's also and like, then, <laughs> I mean, I know Conan's a good guy, but the way he's saying that almost sounds like you're getting sloppy, buddy. Yeah. You're making, right. a, you're making us look bad. We've all heard. Yeah. We've all heard. <laughs> Well, that's interesting. It kind of brings up like I, what is, that '70s show. What? Let me just really fast uh, say yeah, that yeah, I'm gonna, facts. Uh, no, I'm no, I don't. But I don't want to keep reading. But so what I'll say and then get off this because I made a you know I, I promised people that I would do research and, and due diligence and I unfortunately I have to give up. But so what I saw and I'm giving up because I care about the podcast. <laughs> you promised you promised two minutes ago. <laughs> I know, but I'm getting. I appreciate it, Joe. No, 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 no. I'm trying to like listen to you guys no, I and you, I yeah. can't do it. But so the, his ex girlfriend. This is the most damning piece of evidence that I found. His ex girlfriend that was like confirmed ex said she woke up to him like forcibly raping her and he was like she was like pulling his hair to get him off right like actual physical like serious rape well yeah i imagined like the stories were bad but I'm, once again i didn't know a story was enough well no no, no but so like the, you know, the reason i thought that was semi compelling is because it was his confirmed ex-girlfriend it wasn't like some jane doe sure yeah, yeah, right yeah. By the way, who is Jane Doe? Is like that—that's the most raped woman on earth. <laughs> <laughs> this Jane Doe is a real floozy. Dude, I mean, every case I read, I go, Jane Doe got the shit kicked out of her. She got raped eighty times. You're like, Jane Doe got murdered again. <laughs> Jane Doe needs to stop dressing like a slut. Sounds like has me. Jane Doe thought what, about what she's wearing before she leaves the house? Because it's like nonstop with her. I can't believe Jane and John Doe broke up. <laughs> that's why this all happened. Well, my favorite thing is, okay, uh, Ashton Kutcher, Mila Kunis, and oh. like all these Hollywood retards Crazy. are writing these letters yeah. about him. By the way, Ashton Kutcher was a big, um, he was like working uh, against human stopped trafficking, stopped and, human trafficking and, and stuff, which and is just shit. hilarious. Like yeah. so, but now because your buddy that you let what you used to hang in with hang with in Austin, you know, he's like, now it's rape. kind of chill. It's not that yeah. bad. So this was like my favorite. There was one of these one of these quotes is hilarious. It, it says it's all the people that like are defending him. Hold on. Where is Wait, it? Wait, they're defending him. Yeah, they wrote letters oh to God. the court, dude. They wrote letters. Here's the thing. In addition to Rabisi and that 70s show stars, the writers include actor William Billy Baldwin. First off, imagine 
Imagine being like, yeah, I'm going to get off, dude. Billy Baldwin. Is that <laughs> <laughs> like, no, dude. I mean, as long as Baldwin sends like a letter saying like, I'm badass. That I guess I look available by chance because like, this lawyer's like, uh, Steven, anybody? Billy Baldwin's like, he used to love crushing cans. And, you know, we used to be in New Braunfels. We used to like shoot deer. And Oh, you think I'm going to jail? Wait till you meet my friend Tony Shalhoub. He won't let that happen to me. <laughs> Your Honor, I know Monk. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, John, uh, uh, Sh Sh China Phillips, who's the daughter of John Phillips and of the Mamas and the Papas band members. Uh, I mean, it's just what the fuck? It just is. I don't know. It's an odd case because it's like I think that I think he is guilty, but I I also think there's a large part of this that they're not saying is because science. I I I'm pretty sure after this happened, probably 2003, 2004, 2005. I think he, he went to his mafia, ho the Hollywood mafia, yeah. which is Scientology. Mm. And they probably, like, they, they were very aggressive and that violent is, in trying to yeah. That is something them. that I learned while I was reading is that the, uh, so one of the girls that he raped, one of the Jane Doe's, came to Scientology and basically said, like, guys, Masterson raped me last night. He anally raped me. He drugged me in his hot tub, then raped me in the shower. Mm. And apparently Scientology said, like, no, that's not rape. You need to take this class to learn about what rape is because that's not rape. And you need to apologize. And, like, so so they were definitely aggressively defending him and, right. uh, you know, probably intimidating her and shit like that. Yeah, so maybe maybe they're like, we don't have, like, a ton of, like, actual, like, evidence. But, but the fact that these women were were you know intimidated by Scientology well, well why, why would they be intimidated so hard if you didn't do it I, he's, he's definitely guilty but I think that I'm, I'm with you where it's like just you have to have evidence that's though. what I that's the one thing I don't understand here not a lot of DNA <laughs> sounds like Scientology is giving him up a little bit I bet this gets a deal that he gets yeah. to do 30 years I think it might be something like that but it also might be something with like the US courts being like uh, this is a fuck you to Scientology yes, mm. I, make an example out of the guy yeah yeah because yeah, yeah. they keep getting away with shit sweeping under the rug right no. They're like, sure, you don't ever need to pay taxes, but Masterson's out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an untouchable style group going after science. It also is like, so it's like such a funny like tale that they're out of touch. Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> like yeah. the U.S. courts are like, they're going to be devastated when the star of that 70s show <laughs> goes you, to prison. Are you guys going to start paying taxes yet? <laughs> and they're like, they're like, no, have Masterson. Yeah, just take Masterson. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Queen's Gambit. <laughs> but if you touch Travolta, we'll drone strike the U.S. Capitol. <laughs> I mean, did you guys watch that '70s show? It was like it was. Yeah, I was a kid. I, I saw. It. It. Yeah, it was a I good show. Yeah. I remember. I liked it. And he, but he did. I think. I think there's a part of this where it's like a lot of people. I think they they think they're their characters because wasn't he like kind of a scumbag? Yeah. Uh, he, was, well, he, was yeah. Not, he was like a stone. He's like a gentle stoner. Gentle stoner. But there's like scenes where like there's like a whole meme going around where like I think in the in the show they go, "Where do you see yourself in five years?" And he's like, "Prison." Oh, yeah. the old uh, rape storyline. Like the rape storyline. <laughs> yeah, the rape. There was a rape storyline. <laughs> well, I mean, let's. What, what's the theme song? I bet we could re redo this. Listen to this. Hell yes. Remember this? Remember this? That's him driving away from a rape. <laughs> The same old rape <laughs> I committed last week. <laughs> Not a thing to lose. Because I'm in Scientology. We're all right. We're all gonna rape. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Hello, rape. Been a while since we got a song. Yeah, that was I great. Know, yeah, we needed to re. We, we yeah, I, I want more to pump songs. some energy into you, this. I, you should have waited because now I just yeah. want songs. Oh man, I just want songs for the rest of the. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, I just want a yeah, shotgun the instrumental. white claw. Yeah, sure, do the instrumental. <laughs> <laughs> then, well, I'll go take turns. Well, this is a big Hollywood episode, folks, because I mean I don't know what's going on this week, but Jimmy Fallon. Mm -hmm. Jimmy I mean, what Fallon, the fuck is that? Well, they're just they're saying that Where he's the a, hell did this come from? He's a psychopath. He's a psycho? Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, my God. Look at that look unhinged at photo of him. <laughs> wow. It's funny that just the smile could yeah. be, if, if, like, it's edited right, can make you look like, an, like you know, like it's your, here's Johnny. Your Jimmy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, here's Jimmy. Like <laughs> <laughs> so, chaos, comedy, and crying rooms inside Jimmy Fallon's Tonight Show. 
uh, it was a particularly tense day on the set of The Tonight Show, starting to be found. The host, known for his warm and congenial presence on screen, was acting especially dismissive and irritable during production meetings. A former longtime employee tells Rolling Stone. He stumbled uh, through rehearsal in front of a studio audience who typically sits on rehearsal. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, there's bad Jimmy days and there's good Jimmy days. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean? That makes you just go like, oh, Yo, God. What the Don't hell? be around for a bad Jimmy day. <laughs> like he's walking into 30 Rock being like, Bad Jimmy Day, folks. <laughs> Stay the fuck away from me. It's a bad Jimmy Day. Holding a shank at his, like, at his writers. He couldn't... Okay, so they say Fallon seemed to be confused during rehearsal that day in 2017 when he crossed out jokes on the piece of paper he's holding, riff at the audience for a bit, then quizzically looked back down at the same sheet of paper. He couldn't remember he had just crossed it out himself, the employee says. I was like, oh my God, he seems drunk. He doesn't know what he's doing. This could be awful. This could be the end of the show right here. Uh... I mean, this whole article is just full of, like, there's not really, like, abuse, like, what? It's just him getting a little drunk? Who cares? He's just a hammered, you know, fucking it's his excitable show. freak. He'll make yeah. me defend Fallon. But yeah. It's, it's <laughs> there's fine. nothing he did. He's the boss. There's nothing he did to employees that was worse than making them write for The Tonight Show. <laughs> 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 okay? Like, truly, that is a worse punishment than anything. And one of the most harrowing things I read in this article was somebody saying it was their dream to write for Jimmy Fallon. Oh, God. And The Tonight Show. <laughs> <laughs> that's devastating. Dude, that's devastating. <laughs> that's the saddest thing I've ever heard. Are you reading this, John? Yeah, Why don't you sum it up? It. So, uh, he would, uh, they have crying rooms for people okay. to go in and cry. It's commonplace to hear people joking about wanting to kill themselves on the staff, but that just, you know, that's not saying that's much. Every every yeah, what? Yeah, room, they would the refer world. to guest dressing rooms in the offices crying. These people are fags, dude. I'm just, <laughs> 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 crying rooms? Yeah. Well, it's funny because Jimmy Fallon is so <clears throat> presentable as not that guy. Like, when I heard he got The Tonight Show, I never understood that because he's such a... He's such an animated... He's quirky. He's not like a talker. I never thought of Jimmy Fallon as like, oh yeah, he's going to be great like asking questions or in conversation. Like He's great at impressions. He's The only re the only time I ever tuned into The Tonight Show and was like, that's fine, was when it's a skit where he's being able to show off what he did on SNL or mm -hmm. an impression or something. Yeah. The interviews and everything, it's like, it's horrific. So I imagine him just, he's got a coffee mug full of vodka and, you know, he's obviously chained to the desk like all these guys are. How and would he, you not be drinking heavily if that is what happened to you in your life? Because Lorne Michaels is like, oh, he's able to channel this kind of sweet, lovable character on the show. Let's force him to be that in yeah. real life. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. What a great story. Exactly. I'm going to shake you. It started getting exhausting. He's like, I can't keep this up. He's like, I got to get fucking hammered all the time. Mm. I would, too. I mean, I've heard from people I know. Yes, Connor, yeah. That, like, please, I was waiting. <laughs> well, also, like, <laughs> if you ask Lorne to this day, who was favorite cast member of SNL in, in history, he goes, Jimmy Fallon. What? Yeah. And I think it might be some kind of, like, weird puppeteering. Type That's thing. insane. <laughs> Jimmy Fallon, I own him. Yeah, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. My little puppy dog, Jimmy. I can make him do whatever I want. I love Jimmy. <laughs> the tightest ass. Watch me. I just, I press up. I press up on this remote and he moves. <laughs> because I walk into this little doorway and I become him. <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember, that, remember that chess player who had the vibrating anal beads? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's just Jimmy. Lord and Jimmy. <laughs> Laugh. <laughs> Laugh. <laughs> Jimmy's like, ah! <laughs> 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 He's uh, just been coming this whole time. That's what yeah. his laugh sounds weird. Yeah, he's they're like coming. he's hammered. They're like, he's no, hammered. he's being controlled by Lord Michaels <laughs> with anal beads. <laughs> he is a monster, though. Yeah, he's what? He, but like, in you what, know, like stuff? he gets really drunk oh, with staff. Come on, leak some private info. Bro, come on. I mean, all right, I can't. Um, no, you know, no names or anything. Like no that, names. But I, but you know, I have, I have friends who currently. Uh, this feels even kind of bad to do. Uh, but right. I, no, know no people, I know no people names. who have worked there, and the turnover there is insane. Too. Yes, yeah. that's what that's what this whole article is about. Like people, are, people are like, people. "Holy shit!" Because dude, when you get a writing job for like the Tonight Show, you start off five grand a week. Your life changes, and it's a whole year show. So you're making five grand a week for you in the rest of your life, apparently, like a, a, supposedly. Yeah. Right. And then like three weeks later, they're fired with no reason, and they have no idea why. Huh. And uh, and he is just a fucking drunk psycho who yeah they don't if you're talk gonna be to him. drunk you have to also be very generous and you can't be like firing he's, people for no yeah, reason yeah, your behavior like has to like really line he's up he's a mean drunk it's not yeah, like yeah, you yeah. Know, that's the difference we're we're all like we love getting drunk we're like it's the best yeah. he's like a he's like your drunk dad yeah. <laughs> you're like, bottles. Oh, fuck dad's here and 
You know, it's like yeah. an abusive stepfather type thing. Ooh. There's a hold on. Let me find this clip. But yeah, there there's you know, I heard a couple stories of him he, like first couple years where he would get drunk with his employees and writers and be like, let's go, come on, let's go out, let's get fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and then the night ends with him like wrestling people to the ground. Yeah, yeah well, I told you that. But yeah, I, I, didn't, <laughs> well, I didn't know if you wanted to say it, so I was going to pretend I just heard it from Yeah, there's somebody. no names involved, but uh, there was a guy who got hired to the show. Connor McNutt is our new New York City insider. He yeah. moved back finally You're because safe. we... Uh, missed you, bud. Nah, I missed you guys too. Yeah. But uh, New York yeah. City sucks. Just say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it there, but you know, no, it's great. But you know, it's got it's it's it, you're you're home. I'm home. You're home now. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're home. You're home. I'm I home. love New York, but you're home. Thanks, buddy. You're home, and now you are going to ruin every industry chance you have <laughs> <laughs> being on this podcast as much as possible. Uh, <laughs> so this was a very uh, interesting clip to me because you could kind of see what people are talking about here because they're doing one of those weird, you know, gags on the show where they play like a trivia game or something, and there's just some random guy there, and. Jimmy is on his team and the other celebrity and Neil Patrick Harris is on this other random woman's team okay. and they're both just civilians and Jimmy loses because the guy like keeps stuttering mm -hmm. the like it's like playing uh, charades yeah and the guy yeah. can't get the words out and Jimmy kind of gets on him in like a Jimmy way where <laughs> to the crowd no one will notice but yeah. to us well yeah you'll see also, I, I, real quick I just love that <laughs> the only way you would ever watch the Tonight Show as is as evidence. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> only ever, <laughs> dude. That's so funny. I need to be like in Zodiac. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, wow, what a segment. Carpool karaoke. Yeah, you could see the murderous look in his eye. <laughs> like Exhibit A, carpool karaoke. <laughs> like, okay, we come to this basement one day, and there's just red yarn attached to headshots of Jimmy Fallon, Neil <laughs> Patrick Harris, <laughs> James Corden. Uh, I mean, it's it's hilarious. Like, okay, we got. Your tweet was great today, where it's like it was it was Ellen, James Corden, Jimmy Fallon, yeah. and it's like we're in True Detective yeah. with like these people that come off as the nicest, most just jovial people. Mm -hmm. And every five years, there's an article written about how they're fucking they're doing Korean water torture. They're on, the Tuttle on. family. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable. They're they're like they're like the family that like uh the family that like like tortured that poor kid out in Palmdale. Remember Riverside. that? Remember that yeah, uh, weird, the Annie the Netflix or whatever. documentary yeah, where they, yeah, they yeah. killed that kid? The, the the case of Gabriel Iglesias. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The case but of it's fluffy. crazy. Like they mean these. Yeah. You know they're 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 living the high life and they're they're the same as like people that are drinking steel reserves and like throwing <laughs> like darts at their kid's head. Yeah. <laughs> Go, 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 go. So watch this. Uh, remote, remote, go, go. No! Yes! Woo! Woo! Dude, I have a tricky, tricky teammate. Uh -huh. Look at that. Oh, did you pissed. guys hear him stutter? He goes, Rumo, Rumo, yeah, He's got he's like a. He's fucking nervous. Yeah. He's in the New York, he, the Big Apple. Connor, back me up here. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> what, man? Your first time ever on the Tonight Show? <laughs> Get it together. I also love the competitive spirit of Jimmy. Like, yeah. he's like, if I fucking lose to NPH, <laughs> I'll fucking kill this guy who got free tickets here. He's like, Lord's going to fucking burn me with a cigar. <laughs> If you embarrass me in front of Doogie Howser one more time, I'll fucking kill your family. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Look at this poor right guy. Oh, was a gin and tonic, yeah, and he you, goes, You got it? Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, poor Come guy. on, brother. He's like, I have a disability, and yeah. I thought this was going to be He's fun. He's like, you, you fucking retard! <laughs> <laughs> Today, Junior! <laughs> <laughs> You're making me lose on my own show! <laughs> Also, Jimmy, this said, is your only fan. <laughs> <laughs> Be nice to him. <laughs> this is so, I mean, everyone's so fucked up. Everyone's so fucked up, dude. No matter what people have, they're monsters. Yeah. This is insane. Look at, I mean, it's just like every, every couple years we get this. I know. With Ellen. I mean, it's. Why can't anyone just be cool? You make, they make more money than God. Yeah. Like, just relax. Why is everyone such a psychopath? You <laughs> never hear stories about Cone. It's obviously just character. Well, the thing about being in comedy also is that I've, you know, I've known this for years. We all knew about Ellen for years. Yeah. Like, I knew everyone who gets in trouble, it's always like seven years after the fact. Yep. Yep. 
And I've never once heard anything about Conan. Conan's yeah. like yeah. a genius, though. Like, he's an actual Harvard genius. Right. Yeah. Who is like self aware and like he's like it, I'm not saying everybody from Harvard is like super self aware and smart or whatever, but Conan gives me the impression that he's really yeah. in tune, uh, like with he how he's his and he, behavior and he, he wrote on The Simpsons, which if you wrote on The Simpsons, it means you essentially predicted the next forty years of humanity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like in the nineties. Yes, I yeah. mean you're pretty evolved. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's just the greatest comedy show ever ever made probably you change the channel this and you go milk and bowl jesus dude god damn smart. i mean he's all doing it but he has a big smile and he's jimmy Fallon. So it's everyone... funny that this is something that trump literally did yeah, yeah. literally <laughs> <laughs> well you know what it's interesting though that jimmy's getting away with it because he is in my like i want bloodlust mm -hmm. from jimmy like when i watch the show i go this sucks you're a bore yeah but this i'm like hell yeah show <laughs> more of that I go, i'll start watching i go attack that stuttering <laughs> muttering <laughs> prick <laughs> that's what i want to see but that's what not what the world wants you know and then you'll you, you get your fine world that you look at what you've done to masterson <laughs> 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 you think TV will ever be the same without Masterson? Okay, dude, dude please stop bringing it up, man. I can't keep trying today. All right, do you guys have any fucking clue? I want to, you know, the ranch was just getting started. I don't know the ranch. He was on the what, ranch. What, what, ranch? Could, you, could you show on Netflix? Joey, Get I mean, it together. Could you show oh, any? No. any I don't, I don't know what the ranch is. To Masterson, the ranch it's on a Netflix. It's sitcom where they cuss. They've only had 17 seasons in the span <laughs> of eight months. Hey, these guys knew the reference and they didn't laugh. Okay. <laughs> mm. I would have been fucking belly laughing at that. Shame on these guys. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. No, man, but seriously, like, like I, I wonder if, like, anyone in court was like, Your Honor, I mean, the ranch was just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> you got Ashton Kutcher, Sam Elliott. <laughs> It's also, yeah. an insane show? show. It's been on for so long. My mom has watched every episode. <laughs> it's just, they're soap operas. Yeah, pretty much. Netflix yeah. just puts out soap opera. That's yeah. what Yellowstone is to me. I, oh, I, yeah, I, Yellowstone nice is trash. Range. I refuse to believe that's a good show. I mean, I, I watched two episodes and I was like, anyone, I don't care if this somehow gets better. It's what I've seen is, is indefensible. Everyone it's, says season two starts being good, but right. I'll never make it to season two to season, ever confirm that. Everyone always does that. You want to know why? Because they go, I've devoted 13 hours of my life to this one. <laughs> so I have yeah. to keep going now. Yeah, it's, I mean, when I see that, I'm like, well, this is like just Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. Which is also dog shit. Sons yeah. of Anarchy with like cowboy like yeah. Republicans, basically. It's just porn to these people. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah. They're like, I I could be that. No, I, <laughs> yeah. I could I could have a ranch. It's like an idea of people. They're like, I could I could scare a bunch of Asian tourists by sh shooting a shotgun in the sky. God, if I just got the opportunity, I could be that guy. <laughs> Yeah, there's like, I mean, there's like Buffalo doing hits in that yeah. show. It's, it's for retards. Dude, it's insane. I mean, it's so funny. That taps into like a Republican like dad mindset so well. Like it's, yeah. I have this thing with like Republican dads where I'm like, dude, you all, like they, they love guns. They want their families to get murdered. Yeah. Yeah. Like they don't actually want to, but they kind of do. No, They're they do. Quietly. They want to be they the want punisher the so bad. They <laughs> want to be, they want to be in court and they want to like jump over and like beat the shit out of a black guy. Exactly. That, like, came and killed their family. They're like, yeah. They're like, I wish a motherfucker would try to come to my house, but like they, they do wish that. Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> they yeah. really want That's it. why they're always upset about like all the commercials with the fucking secu uh, security systems. Uh -huh. It's never a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like white guys breaking into my home. You think I could shoot a white guy breaking into my home? I'd fucking make him dinner. <laughs> Dude, like, I, I, like, a Republican dad right now, like, if he had, like, the taken phone call, where they're like, we have your fucking daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd go, I'll be right there. And then he would hang up the phone and go, fuck yes. <laughs> yes. He goes, I just hit the fucking jackpot. <laughs> yes, dude. Yes. <laughs> it is true. Yeah. There is, they have a weird fantasy. Yeah. So that's Sons of Anarchy. That's Yellowstone. I'm like, you guys are just pussies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, Yellow, Yellowstone is like, Yellowstone's much bigger than Sons of Anarchy. Ever yeah, was. yeah, yeah. Really? 
Actually, yeah. I don't know if that's true. So no, I don't know. It's huge. fucking huge. It's the number one rated show on Oh, TV yeah, yeah. In the middle of the country, the, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know a ton of people who are obsessed with it. Middle I'm, of, a little, yeah. I'm a little warped because Sons of Anarchy is based on and filmed in Tonga. Sure. Yeah, 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 so, so Sons of Anarchy was a big show, and it was around that time when there wasn't eight billion shows on TV. But I'm saying the fact that Yellowstone's that popular with there being so many shows is a testament to how fucking popular Yellowstone sure, yeah. is. Like yeah. Yellowstone, Yellowstone's a huge deal. It's only popular because they can't make a Turtle Diary show. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh. yeah. All right. Well, good stuff. I mean, we covered uh, Hollywood. Hollywood's a crazy place. Sorry, Hollywood. I'm sorry, Hollywood. <laughs> get it together, Hollywood. Oh. Hey, we'll let up if you guys get it together. <laughs> <laughs> We'll stop bringing down the fucking hammer if you guys pull your shit together. I mean, I don't know. What, what else is in this article about Fallon? Do they ever get into like anything crazy? Like, what? It, what's it's, the craziest thing he did? Did you read this, Connor? A lot no. of people, a lot of podcasters would read it before. <laughs> <laughs> I skimmed it. I skimmed it. <laughs> I oh, skimmed no. it, you know? I mean, it's all stuff I just already know. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the thing. I kind of didn't read it because I was like, Connor told me like a million stories about this Connor, guy. let him loose. Why are you holding him back? So I know yeah. a guy who got hired on the... Uh, it's the, just a lot of pressure. They ever, yeah, it's, yeah. it's all, the whole article's just like, they all felt a lot of pressure and he was insane. Yeah. Basically. There's no like story where he's like, you know... Can you think of any like stories? stories? I know a story about this guy who got hired to Late Night with Jimmy Fallon before The Tonight Show. And it was like his first couple weeks there and they all went out drinking afterwards and like Gramercy... And then they all went back to his place in Gramercy, and he was like, "Let's wrestle! It's all right. I want to wrestle the new guys." <laughs> oh, and no. he put one of the new guys in a headlock, like a sleeper hold. He, pa he passed out. <laughs> oh no! He didn't and, let him tap. And then, no, and then he woke up in his bed the next day. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> like, like yeah. did, did Jimmy Fallon knock me out? <laughs> my boss. Me? Yeah. He doesn't did respect the tap. Yeah, I, Jesus. I, he's hammered. Good he's God. drunk. Well, wild. And yeah. then, he, by the way, Joey, you don't respect the tap. Yeah, what are you talking about? You almost killed Richie last week. <laughs> he attacked me first, and then I—if he tapped, I'm unbelievable. The ODD. <laughs> you like, like I'm not kidding. I thought I watched that, and I was like, "We're gonna be at Richie's funeral. <laughs> like you're gonna be, you're like you're about to. This sounds crazy. You were about to million dollar baby. Do you Richie. remember? Do you remember throwing him? Yeah, yeah. So Richie goes like, "Dude, you want a slap box?" He comes up to me and goes, "Do you want a slap box?" Why is Richie doing that, by the way? I, don't know. I was yeah. so hammered. You just can't do it to me that hammered. And yeah. then I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, you're poking a tiger. So exactly. whatever comes, yeah. so whatever happens, happens in the world. It's like yeah, if you slap a fucking like a dumb animal, that it's gonna fucking bite you. Or so something. you're a dumb animal. Yeah, you're blackout drunk, you yeah. retard. Of course. Oh, oh my, you were you were black <laughs> out drunk. blackout drunk, you retard. <laughs> <laughs> you said you remembered. Oh, no, no, I do remember. By the way, here's how the story went. Word for word, beat for beat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was. I remember this. I was and black hat drunk but I was like very hammered and if you like challenge me to slap boxing that drunk and then you just like clock me in the side of the head like harder than is appropriate for oh did he do that yeah mm. and then so I was just like still not being angry but I just like grabbed him and just like tossed him just to like be like, hey, look, well, you know, a little rough, like a horseplay. Yeah, he'll admit that. I think if he remembers. Well, it. he he snapped up because Richie didn't want to be like like look bad, but like you almost killed him. I he thought he landed. He landed a he very, landed he very, very he landed, awkwardly. No, no, no. He landed like the way I was like very surprised at how well he he landed like short. He didn't post it's because up I dropped and he, him like, lifted nicely. his head up. Richie landed well because Richie's been in like eighty car accidents, <laughs> <laughs> so he always knows. Richie's always told me he's like you just gotta like see it coming and then just relax. Wait, yeah. wait, what? <laughs> yeah, Richie has this strategy for car accidents where he's like, I just know how to be in them now. <laughs> Where this is true, though. It is true. Where if yeah. you tense yeah. up, you'll get injured. Yeah. But if you just go like... After like a hundred like, insurance How many a psycho do you have to be to be relaxed moments <laughs> before an accident? Just a big rig coming your way and you're like... <laughs> you go, ooh. <laughs> you go, time to get my wiggle on. You just shit yourself. I also dropped him carefully. <laughs> it looked probably more violent than it was. And also, I just got fucking. Well, it was clogged. just on concrete. That was the thing. Yeah, that's why I dropped him so gently. Yeah, it was not gentle. Dude, I took. I took, just said it was a graceful drop. I took you home one night in New York. You were so hammered. I was like walking you to your hotel room, and you almost like. <laughs> you attacked me as if I wasn't me. <laughs> it's like you came out of a black and you're like, who the hell are you in my room? And you <laughs> threw me against a dresser and I was yeah. like, oh my God. Look at Joey's face during this. <laughs> 
Because that's happened with me with me a few times. No, it has not. There's been a few times where you, I, you, like back in the day when you were like, like I, I an, another level of hammered. Yeah. Where like I, I don't even know how you're standing. Like I don't even know how I'm dra- I don't know how I'm not dragging you across the floor. We're out of nowhere. You would have like a moment because you know the alcohol hits in different points. Sure. And, yeah, yeah, I have moments. And right sometimes out of nowhere you would just be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and like, just, like turn into a monster yeah. with me. You're born out. But I would never hurt you. Well, no, you, well, <laughs> you, you hurt me. Devin, have I ever hurt you, actually? You've actually, I think you sense something with me where you go, like, you could, you smell my pheromones or something. No, no, yeah, have I physically <laughs> hurt you? Like, no, I know, but I'm saying I've seen you do it with other people that you do know. No, but you, have I ever? No, never with me. Thank I, you. I can't say this. It's like Predator when she's d- a pregnant I do woman. Remi- <laughs> 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 what did you say? <laughs> See, don't make him say it again. They heard it. Okay. <laughs> but, no, I do remember Cotter's. I, I don't remember it, but I remember he told me the next day, and so I know it's true, yeah. but I can't deny it. This is also a peak I, Roy. I don't no way. Yeah. I was on roids. Yeah, this is peak Roy. I was like, Roy oh, rage. So right. I was like, I, was like, I, I will rage. lose this fight. You know yeah, what I mean? I was yeah. like, holy shit. Oh, no. <laughs> He's fucking huge, oh, dude. My God. Holy fuck. Yeah. Joey was so jacked. Oh, yeah. You went, God, when you got on roids, I have a picture of you in a swimming pool, and you were just dumpy as hell, and then like five months later, you're shredded. Mm-hmm. It was insane. Yeah, no, I, um, I'm about to get back on him. Connor, since Connor moved back to Los Angeles... Uh, I've been going to the gym with an otter, you know, Devin. Yeah. At least I go to the gym. I know we go every day. Congrats! It's Don't nice. Make fun of me. No, no, no. Devin's looking great. No, I no, Devin's shoulders a, the other day. I was impressed. Thanks, Devin though. is a. I, we're, I, the we're the gayest no, podcast. We're the gayest podcast. That's straight. That's straight. Have sex with all you guys. I know. That's Honestly, right. Connor's hey, the hottest listen, guy here. That, I know Devin's Connor's body hot. like the back of my hand, brother. Yeah, we explore each other, and I love it every inch of it. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, what I was saying is that Devin and I just kind of go. We like whatever. We just like. Uh, do cardio shit to burn uh, calories yeah. so we don't get like out of shape. But Connor came back and we had like a bear sesh. Are you working out? Oh, oh yeah, he goes to the gym with us now. Oh fuck! Yeah. So I had my first like serious upper body. We have a, day. We have a whole we have a whole group text called Gym Boys, mm-hmm. and uh, you'd be in it if you weren't like working. Or whatever. It's really working. fun because we work out and then five hours later we're all blackout <laughs> drunk. I know, <laughs> <laughs> and we all act like we're helping each other. That's but. the problem with drinking with with. Devin, and then also now Connors, that we get fatter doing it because we're like, all right, well, we have to drink <laughs> yeah, now. It's imp- we're it's, hanging out. It's crazy. We, let's go have fun. No. I have a weird theory, where, or not a theory, it just makes me feel better. If I, when I drink in workout clothes, I feel somehow <laughs> like it's counteracting <laughs> the bad effects. <laughs> like, if you put on a headband to get fucked up, somehow you're like, no, it's Absolutely. like a, it's my body's like a in sport. S- my body's yeah. in sport mode. Yeah. Yeah. You're wearing a wicking shirt, John. You've been saying you want you need you want to lose weight. Why don't you Dude, fucking, fucking start coming to the gym more? I need it. Well, I can do it on Wednesdays. I can do it some days of the week. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. noon, yeah. noon to three ish. Yeah, just the days I work nights, I can do it. Please come. Yeah. You're welcome. Obviously, I can honestly time. do it like four days a week. Oh, dude, start coming. So start Shit. coming. Yeah, yeah. I was just sleeping. Gym rats. Gym rats. So, so, gym noon, boys you're gym sleeping. Kind of. I, I take a long day, like time to get started. I didn't Get know a you- coffee. We'll go at like two. We'll make I've been, it two. I've been, I've been having um, uh, fucking MCT oil now. That shit's changing. MCT, shit. really? What? Yeah. Because you're honestly, I, so you're I think on you're like, dad. You're on, fucking have it. you're on Rogan Griffs from 2011. <laughs> yeah, it's wild. Dude. <laughs> no, I went to. I, did, I started, <laughs> just started the Rogan Griffs. Like, he's doing the backlog of Rogan Griffs. <laughs> Next week, he's going to be like, dude, have you guys heard of DMT? <laughs> I'm like, we need to stop seizures. You know it's released when you die, right? <laughs> no, I found a big jug of it for like 20 bucks. It was crazy. It was actually is good, but don't do yeah. the butter shit. No, fuck that, no. That's like how, the butter coffee? No. The butter coffee oh. that that guy, that, that Dave, guy Asprey. Dave Asprey. Oh. I just know your start. dad does the MCT oil like every morning. Yeah, he puts MCT oil. Yeah, your dad looks stuff. amazing. So I'm like, right, That's like a Mediterranean yeah. diet. And yeah. They're like healthy, good uh, yeah. oils. Good. Yeah. But I have yeah. lion's mane mushroom coffee. Sure. Everyone's on the lion's mane and the and the, the reishi <clears throat> mushrooms and, the, and yeah. the ashwagandha. What is this shit? I have no idea what this is. I took uh, Tongat Ali and I, t- I do lion's Tongat mane. Tongat Ali too? What's yeah. It? Tongat Ali actually it, works. What is it? Yeah, well, it's, it's like, like a natural. It's like it a natural. Like Muhammad Ali's daughter. It's Muhammad Ali. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a natural tea booster. It's like it's like a fucking root from China. Do or you some need shit. your tea upped? Are you I don't losing think your so tea? Because I mean, you I'm lost balding. your hair. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't think so, but I just like the. You idea didn't lose of your it. hair. You could get it back. Stop taking fucking. No, I that shit fucking sucks. No, 
Like that, I took the pills that get your hair back. I was like crying during mm. movies and shit. It was fucking retarded. You know, yeah. I never took you for a Santa Cruz shirt guy. I had I this shirt for a ca- while. I thought you and call I found all it in my of trunk. them like stupid hippies, and you know you're. I like the shirt. You're a very co- conflicted, contradictory man. That's how I like to make it. Because <laughs> John you, has unique you, shirts. I invite. John has I invite great shirts. John has great shirts. Unique. I'm like, a great would, shirt guy. But John just doesn't make much sense to me, like because because he's he's like a he's like a hipster. But then hates hipsters, and then he's a yeah. No, he's got like yeah. a Waylon Jennings. I'm constantly Jennings inviting shirt. arguments. Well, all great men are contradictory. Yeah. yeah. So I will give you that. <laughs> yeah, I'm constantly inviting strife. Have and you arguments. been to Santa Cruz? Yeah, it sucks. It sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been to Santa, Santa Cruz? Santa Cruz rules. It's full Dude, of homeless. You guys haven't been and there. Shit. You haven't been there since. Uh, uh, have you been there since the pandemic? No. It, but Valley went to college there, so right. I go up there all the time. I imagine. Really? Yeah. Oh. It had a charm when I was there. Song? Beautiful. I mean, like downtown, like the Del Mar Theater. I mean, that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's a beautiful was, area. Yeah. Yeah. Stunning it, area. I, cu- I saw the beauty, and I remember going as a kid, and I was like, that was it kicks ass, the, the boardwalk or the pier mm. and the, the, the rides and all yeah. that shit. I went on oh, my so own. Also, dude, I was getting college pussies. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you were like, you were like in like this romantic, charming yeah, yeah, period yeah. where you're going up there on like a train, right? Yeah. And, like, yeah, that's fun. Nostalgia. Nostalgia. Yeah. They got the banana slugs. Oh, or, yeah. yeah. Whatever that is. Yeah. I haven't seen. I never saw one when I was there. Because they <laughs> stay out, stay away from me. We're well, not in the woods. You're in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> they stay away from me. <laughs> they hate me. <laughs> Whole fucking life been waiting to see a banana slug, and you know none of them are around for me. All all I see is the the mystery spot bumper stickers. <laughs> fucking bullshit. But uh, no, I went there on my own. I went to go see Brian up yeah. in the, up up north, and he had to work all day. So I just turned into this like gay housewife, where I'm like, all right, well I'll figure out what to do today. I'll take a day trip. Yeah, so I took a yeah. day trip on my own to Santa Cruz, and I was like. Man, this place sucks. Dude, it was the most homeless people I'd ever seen in my, literally in my life. Oh, like, interesting. Like the entire, you know, um, next to the downtown district where there's like the basin, like river. Yeah, thing? yeah, yeah. That is literally, that is the biggest Hooverville I've ever seen. They, yeah. That was the famous one in California. It's nonstop yeah. tense. It was all over the news. Yeah. It was the most homeless people I've ever been around in my life. Yeah. Well, I haven't been there, so. Yeah. But it was, <laughs> but I still saw the charm. Like, it's cool. You know, the, yeah. the, 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 you can imagine the how it was once is, nice. It was yeah. once cool. And they'll, they'll get it back, sure. I guess. But we just got to start, you know, we got to start fucking killing, you know, yeah, poisoning these people. <laughs> <laughs> got to start putting them, kind of like, you know, I don't know, put them, on, put them in camps. And no. Give them like, a bunch of chainsaws or something. Oh, <laughs> 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 to do, all you do is accuse them of two counts of rape. <laughs> 30 years. Oh, mm. man. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, this this thing with the Jimmy Fallon, they're, they're talking about people like they were saying it was the lowest point of my life. I didn't want to live anymore. These I thought about are, come on. I thought dude. about taking my own life all the time, one what? former employee says. I knew deep down I would never actually do it, but in my head I'm like, yeah, because I don't know why. Because no- they're fucking lying. If you killed yourself because you worked for Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> That'd be so funny. You're like the biggest <laughs> loser alive, okay? Some guy blows his brains out. Because of Jimmy <laughs> Fallon. <laughs> Just leave. His note is like, I couldn't handle Fallon. <laughs> <I> <laughs> mean, <laughs> Dwyer in the fucking room. It's not Deer Hunter. <laughs> anyway, wow. Fallon's like, tougher than he looks. He's, he's, like, he's like Ed Buck. <laughs> Fallon's tougher than he looks. <laughs> I could beat him. That's a fascinating life. Connor, you ever think about like if you, like, like what, because, you know, there was a period of time where like you and I would have been that was that would have been like a dream to have gotten a writing job on that show. Well, yeah, I mean, I would still in a heartbeat. Sure, you would accept it. Yeah. Well, it's a lot of, it's a, no, I know, but it's a, in it, private. You'd be like, yeah. "This sucks," but I get it's paying me. Yeah, do every yeah. guy I know who gets a job in comedy? It's a nightmare. Sure, but sure. you're rich now. Yeah, but it's still it's very temper. It feels like a settlement check. Yeah, <laughs> like you get thirty k at once, and then they fire you, and you have like a rape story. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's why Jimmy's under so much heat because he's the only late night host ha- who has this work environment. You know I mean like even Corden, the guys who worked for Corden, I know per- I have friends personally who worked for him. They're like, he's a sweetheart. You know, really? Yeah, like Dude, that he's guy a, like, hates the, waiters yeah, or maybe something. Maybe he feels just guess. delicate. Yeah, That's I mean, the Fallon thing. has if for this to be like an actual story, and Ellen the same thing. It's like in a work environment, they have to be such monsters for this to come to light, and also has to be talked about for like ten plus years. 
Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. But what about well? But Corden, I thought was worse than both of them. It's like waiters and shit. I don't know. I don't think he's. I think to his work staff. I have friends who worked for the show. And they said he was fine. He's cool. Yeah, that's a weasel move. Okay, Let me be nice to the people yeah, that can like yeah. that I can profit off of, yeah. and then I'll be rude to everybody that doesn't matter. Yeah, mm. but I mean that's preferable. I think like if you're if you're a boss somewhere, you know what I mean. It's a better no. boss, but it's like a phonier, worse person for sure. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna no. be like, no, Corden's a moral man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's a death sentence in this industry. Defend it. If Connor were to defend James Corden's <laughs> character on a podcast. I'm just saying, like, you have to prioritize being a good boss in these situations. Sure, sure. Well, yeah, it sounds like, I mean, Jimmy just, it sounds like I could see myself being a Jimmy. For sure. I could see myself being like, come on, we're all going to give me a fuck up to that. No, but I And then I wake up and I go, I'm sorry, I put I put you in the sleeper hold. And, oh, dude. <laughs> I'd be, I'm sorry you're paralyzed. <laughs> There'd be so many stories. He re Like, Joey wrestled me mm -hmm. on, yeah. on Joey uh, late night yeah. or like, whatever. Late night with Joey. <laughs> like, no, I, I'd wrestle everybody. Imagine, can we, can we <laughs> do a sketch where Joey runs the most popular, <laughs> the most popular late night show in the country? <laughs> and you get me too, but it's... All the reasons are, they're almost not even that bad. <laughs> he forced me to a bomb they're like, threat. he forced me to eat 30 wings. <laughs> <laughs> he, he made me watch Daniel Cormier compilations all night. August 14, 2023, Joey made me do Edward Forty hands. <laughs> <laughs> the Fedor highlight is burned into my eyelids. Yeah. Oh, right, man. Who's this bitch? Well, this shit. I don't even know if we want to segue to this because this this lady is is a is is a monster. This is a woman. I don't know. This looks you, great. You want to watch? Oh it? yeah. All right. So this Come woman. On. What okay. are we talking? Like monster? Like it's gonna get us banned? No, no, no. no it's just <laughs> fucking. Mom forces her son to take a thumbnail for her YouTube channel just after his dog died. Hell yeah. And he's like legitimately crying about his dog dying, and she's completely. The sociopathic amazing. about it and like yeah i know you're crying but like look into the camera we'll, we'll put like this shit where, you know where you like you go like, i mean jimmy yeah. jimmy fallon's an upstanding citizen of the, <laughs> compared of, to this what are we talking yeah, about yeah for us we appreciate it i love you guys wait, 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 let me start <laughs> part of our family so if you could pray for us we appreciate it i love you guys but <laughs> come here come closer for the video come closer come closer well she just stops crying immediately Put your, head, put your head right here. Almost He's really Almost crying. Yeah, by right the here. way, fakest cry I've ever heard in my oh, entire look, life. Oh, look, she's still wearing a fucking mask. Act like mask. you're crying. Really quick. I am crying. Act like you're crying. Oh, my God. Go like what this. Go in love, but actually, she's usually crying. No, I know, but go like this. Holy For fuck. the video. Oh my god! Dude. Like this, put one hand up. Like oh, this. Dude. <laughs> dude, I fucking told you guys this. This this video is like darker than like Sophie's Choice. Hey, this like, is disturbing. Oh, it's disturbing. Yeah. It's crazy. There's I, something. I, it almost makes me think it like is staged. Cause, like like it, she's such a horrific piece of shit. I'm like, I, I hope this is staged. Yeah. There's no way though. No, it's she's just, psycho. It's just insane that anybody can have like this influencer mind. It's like, imagine just like an abusive, like alcoholic father from like the fifties being like a day in the life of beating my children. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up first thing in the morning. I drink three shots of whiskey. I go to work. I fuck my secretary. I come home and I punch my kids square in the face. He goes, son, son, act like you got a black eye for this. <laughs> son, now pretend I hit you. He's like, you did hit me, dad. You beat this shit up, but pretend, hold your eye. Hold this frozen pack of peas to your eye. Now pretend I hit you. You. <laughs> you did. It's got that music behind it where it's like a day in the life of a, a, a woman that works at Google. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. Uh, this is crazy, and the kid's like, "I'm mom, I'm really crying. Like, what is your?" <laughs> this is so. This is heartbreaking. I that's know. Sad, I know. Oh, it goes like, on. My jaw literally dropped. That's Can we crazy. report this to CPS? It's another forty seconds. <laughs> I I'm hope sure, somebody's I'm sure a bunch done. Of have yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm. Yeah. I hope. What is it? Child porn services, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes. Very good. Very good. Yes. Right? Very, very good. Hey, you know, we like to keep the heat coming here, folks. You know, it's a Hey Watch podcast. We're a punk rock podcast, you know? It's job porn services. Also, want to hear another great joke about? FBI? What is CPK? What? 
Child porn kitchen. <laughs> oh, very good. Yeah. Hey, what's Why that? Why do you think it's a California pizza kitchen? Shut nope. Up. Well, Child hey, porn kitchen. What's, what's FBI? Yeah. What are you, a, f- a goddamn female body inspector? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, holy shit. I got a mug oh, on the way. That's fucking sick. I saw a mug on Amazon that said female body inspector. It said FBI. And then it said that on the back. I go, I gotta get that. Uh, I go, that's no. gonna make the that's gonna make everybody You're laugh. Like, this, this is perfect my for my sick twisted sense of humor. I go, <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna show off who I am this shirt. I go, oh, when God. I'm out at the lake with the family, <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> for breakfast to show that up. By the anyway. way, so, someone really quickly telling Chris D'Elia they're going to call CPS. He's like, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Love that place. That's great. Dude, you're not going to like be able to open for him now after that. You know that, right? Yeah, you're Fuck. done. Fuck. You, you ruined your chance. This pot is already for costing D'Elia. you money, Do you remember bro. when we watched that? That clip of him like doing like thirty minutes of crowd work in Denver, yes. and there's empty seats. <laughs> there's oh seats. no, it's really brutal. There's empty seats, and there was protesters outside. Yeah, oh, yeah, no. and a lot of his material and he's was making fun how, of the protesters. Yeah, but he, but but his crowd is so dumb they don't even know why he's being protested. Yeah. And he's just like, I don't know. There's fucking you know, I have good hair. <laughs> like, like, oh, it's, no. it's crazy, dude. Crystal is, but he's still like killing it. If you open for Crystal Lee, do you have to like? Do you have to have been like deprived of oxygen at birth, or like, like, like? Does does he make you like take like Nas before? Like, does he yeah, make yeah. you like suck balloons <laughs> before you like go on stage? I, I don't know. How does that work? To open for him? Does I don't know who opens for him, but I know that like Shab, for example, not to say that they're the same, but they're close. Shab's, I think Shab's a little better. I think. Sure, sure, I know, but yeah, but I know what Shab does because I heard about this. Is he will take locals. So if he goes to Seattle, he'll go like whatever. Who's your best local guy? Right. And, and they're they're, like, they're clueless. And they're, and they're like, like, oh, we, he's we, famous. We, like we have a sea lion. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but so he'll find people that have nothing else and just be like, you open for me. I'll pay you nothing, but you're, this is a show. I mean, most comics are just so broke they'll open for anybody. Exactly. Yes, that's the that's thing. Really it. Yeah. Yeah. And Shab pays in like Dave and Buster's coins. <laughs> 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 anyway. We don't enough of Shab. Okay, Shab has like had actually like a he's 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 he was he was forged through fire, mm-hmm. and he's I think he's I think he's he's come out of it like a, <laughs> like a phoenix. <laughs> he's a phoenix. He's, he's, I, I think Shab's gonna have like a great couple years. I love uh. him. <laughs> I think he's great. Honestly, like I, lo- I love him. If anyone's due, <laughs> if anyone's due I, for I anything, love him. uh. Dude, when I visit Connor in New York, it's so funny because we have to force ourselves to like go out, do things, and like look. <laughs> like I'm in New York City. It's like it's you know it's 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 the best city on earth, I think. And every time I'm there, we like barely leave the place because <laughs> we're like I don't know, man. We got this look at like what? It's Burt Kreischer documentary about how he lies. <laughs> Let's just watch this. I Sage also frequency. I, I also had like the best bar and restaurant like li- half a block from my apartment. So it was a place called 99 Rogers. Yeah. And I was like, why would we go anywhere else? We got my TV in the living room, 99 right there. <laughs> yeah. We'll go get hammered, come back, pick up more beer, watch some beige frequency. No, literally, like, <laughs> that's fre- <laughs> that's most of my trips when I would see Connor in New York. I'd be like, let's go to that place, like, half a block away. <laughs> let's get fucked up. Let's eat a little bit. Let's go back. I got this. Like a new porcelain dog. Mm-hmm. That is quality uh, <laughs> time. If anybody wants to deny, yeah. like that's some of the most quality friend time that there is. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's yeah, you've amazing. You see New York, and you see anything else? You know. Well, no. I mean, it's like it's hilarious that I'm not like I spent money on a on, oh, on yeah, travel, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm like in this beautiful city. I have family there. I never see them. I go, sorry, <laughs> sweetheart. I go, I go, sorry, Aunt Lorraine. I'm watching the Try Hard doc. <laughs> Bert Kreischer has been lying. That laugh isn't real, Aunt <laughs> Sorry, Lorraine. Bert Kreischer embarrassed himself in front of Adam Sandler one time. Uh. <laughs> anyway, back to the most depressing video we've ever seen. No, go like this. Ah, put your hand like this. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. Let them see your mouth. Oh, no. Let them see your mouth. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. She's crying. She's crying. Oh, dude. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look oh, me. what an absolute piece of shit. It's like a little, me. like, Pinocchio me. allegory. He's like, Mom, I'm a real boy. Look at the camera. <laughs> oh, and she's got a mask on. Yeah, I was saying, she's fucking still wearing a mask. Look at the camera. 
Oh, dude, come on now. This can, is can we this rescue is, this kid? Oh, yeah. I, I can't watch this anymore. Can we rescue that child? Is can can the Hate Watch podcast find out who that is? And we will fucking I will fly out to we'll where be like he big lives, daddies. and I will show up big at the daddies. door. <laughs> Yeah, I want to be yeah, like yeah. a big daddy. Yeah, you got all my, my name is Kevin Garrity. I'm here to pick up my son. <laughs> <laughs> oh. so take him to a McDonald's breakfast and shit. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Now that's oh. like life altering tragedy for that kid. Uh, that would fuck me up bad. Well, oh you, yeah. You know what makes me wonder about that is like, okay, in terms of like, okay, say you do call CPS, can they technically is that child to be like like that would be really hard to prove. It's hard to prove, right? Because it's it's not. An action, it or it's an action, but it's not, it's not like a beating. It's not like um, uh, ignoring them and leaving them in a hot car. It's Negligent, not, dude. Yeah. I, th- I think that's yeah. worse than beating your kid. It yeah. is, but just yeah, but the CPS that to a board. At I don't know. Like yeah. look at like behavior. No, no, like that. It, w- it wouldn't be treated that way. But yeah. that is for sure. It might put them like, under a microscope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. where they need podcasters to come in. <laughs> yeah, and we're in court. We're like, we're like, nah, judge. That is. Fucked up! <laughs> <laughs> it's his fucking dog. Oh man, that's oh. that's crazy, right? It's like so sad that my brain is like stuttering. I know. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to be as sad as you were hyping it up to be, but it was ten times sadder. I told you guys. I told you guys. Uh, What's this? Don't lie. You've probably been using your manscape ball shaver on your face, so it's really time to pick up their beard hedger. It's a cordless trimmer with a rotary wheel that gives you 20 different haircutting lengths, all with one guard. No more messy drawers full of add-ons. I love Manscaped. I used it to shave my face earlier today. I shaved my balls. I shave every fucking Two different thing with it. D- you didn't use the ball one on your face, did you? No, never. Okay. Because they give you that you can get a great facial trimmer. What's wrong with that? It's just not, it, it's well, not, you don't want to touch your balls to your face, first yeah. of all, and Why? second of all, the well, face. Well, of course, John has no problem with that. Yeah, right? whatever. It's, it's skin. It's disgusting to do yeah. that. And no, then, it's not. Se- yeah, it is. Yeah. And yeah. then, it's, second it's of all, gross. they, you're, you're they build stuff for the face specifically. No, you're a gross person, John, and you're, 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 you're just like, like, you're not. You guys have done that. You're not of this world. Yeah. I have. I actually, I yeah, used, come I've, on I've used the ball trimmer on my neck before. And yeah. they know that people are doing that, and that's why that's they why yeah. the, That's why the fucking people that write these things are brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, Manscaped. Who the fuck do you have writing this? Hey, Hemingway, I didn't know you worked for Boston. Unbelievable. <laughs> I didn't know Mark Twain wrote Manscaped that. That's that. But God damn it, Mark Twain, you are amazing, and I'm glad you're writing for Manscaped now. So I've used, I've used everything at Manscaped. I have all their stuff i use their nose trimmer i literally use manscaped like i'm not kidding guys like you just buy the package and all of it comes and it's like everything i any, use it's everything any man trimmer. needs i use the nose tri- i've had i have crazy nose oh hairs. dude the Me older too. we get yeah, i use nuts. the manscaped I'll nose tell trimmer you, joey the older i'm not kidding at all the older, I'm not even goofy the older you yours? get yeah. Oh, it's bad. The older you get, the the hair on your head starts going to your nose, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Look, guys. leaves your damn head, goes to your nose. And if I could take it out of my nose, put it back on my head, I'd be a young man. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, if I had facial hair, I would use man. <laughs> <laughs> no, truly, man. I'm not kidding. Like, every single razor I have is from Manscaped. They, uh, it all works great. I shave my face with it. I shave my balls with it. They have, they have these, like, amazing, uh, ball toners that, like, for the summer. I, I brought it over to New York. Connor's girlfriend made fun of me, and I would go, "Well, wait, the answer balls, fiance." Wait, what? And I go, I go. You can't smell my balls through my shorts now, can you? And wow. she used to always complain about that. What? She, I don't she know said, either. Devin's coming, and he's bringing his stinky <laughs> balls. <laughs> They have great ball deodorant. They got not anymore, honey. He's sponsored by Manscaped. <laughs> His actually, balls don't stink so bad no I go, more. Honey, he's doing pretty well. <laughs> I'm actually not kidding. Like Manscaped is, uh, if you get that full package, that man, it's 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 everything I've ever wanted. Because you, you every, every guy like has to order on Amazon, like some from some shitty company for their facial shaver, or, or you know, for any of that stuff, and it always breaks really quickly. I've had them for a while. They're great, and check it out. So this baby has a lot. Long-lasting battery, universal charging, and a strong motor that will get you the look you want. If you're a clean-shaven kind of guy, the handyman is your ticket to a That's smooth, what I use. stubble-free look. We both use it, Joey and I. I use it for the clean-shaven. I don't have great facial hair, so I use that one. It's clean-shaven, and it works better than any other yep. shaver that I used to use. Mm. Always a clean shave. It never irritates the skin. It's legitimately the best shaver I've ever had. I'm, mm. I'm 
That's not even. I don't even care about. They this make stuff. a good. I don't, I, I don't care about you, Manscaped. I would have lied. Say, like, like you literally, lie it's like, for it's an like, ad. You guys made a great thing. And by the way, I'm not saying this because I'm I'm drunk. I mean this. No, I actually mean this. So uh, whether you've got a five o'clock shadow or you're working on a Jack Sparrow situation, well, I think they, they must have loved our Johnny Depp episodes. Whoa. Like, hey. Manscaped has the tools for you. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code HATEWATCH20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code HATEWATCH20. Hit the refresh button with Manscaped. Support the show and get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com with promo code HATEWATCH20. Thanks for listening. Matty Rat, buy one of those or oh, you're yeah. fucking yeah. banned. Matty Rat, like, listen, we all know you're from Pakistan. Like, you guys could, you guys need shavers out there. <laughs> yeah. All right? He manscapes, too. Yep. Matty Rat, he fucking manscapes. buy one. I'm serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And go kill somebody. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. Oh well, I mean, I have so many. It's like whatever you see and, like, you know, it's a grown woman who identifies as non-binary is full-blown breakdown over being called a lady. She's crying for like three minutes. But this is like, I get a little tired of doing these things. Well, now that you said it, we have to watch a little. She's dressed like Velma. You can move on or, you know, all right, here we go. Here we go. Let's give it a little watch. Here's this retard, folks. (laughs) (laughs) Here's this retard, folks. Can we give it up to what we've done with our lives? Congratulations, guys. We're doing exactly what we've always done our whole lives. We used to sit upstairs and just for lack, you know, no pun intended, hate watch stuff, Mm -hmm. and we'd call it a hate watch, Mm -hmm. and for whatever reason, it took me about five years to figure out that that should be the name of the show. And we had a horrible name. Hate that you love it. Was, I think that was fine. That was a great no, name. That was a terrible name. <laughs> <laughs> it was but mouthful. It's crazy that all we do, we just pull up shitheads. It is one it of those. Wild. Watch them. A lot of people will sit there and reflect and be like, man, if you asked like the 10 year old me what I'd be doing with my life, he'd kick my fucking ass, dude, because I'm not doing anything that I would have thought that I wanted. Yeah. But we are. We're we doing exactly. I, like, if you would ask me, I'd be like, I would be getting hammered with my friends. We'd be eating like pigs. We'd be hanging out and like just talking shit. Yeah. It's like mm-hmm. now, it's, no, it's crazy, and, and and not every episode is us watching stuff, but it's amazing that like talking shit though. Yeah, you, so well, many yeah. of so many of these episodes are just simply like the world is our oyster. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone sucks so much ass, and we capitalize on our hatred. It's, yeah, it's somebody beautiful. needs to. Cheers, cheers to that. Yeah, this could have only happened. Today. Cheers to OP. Cheers. cheers, cheers. Anyway, here's this retard. Let's restart it for the people at home. Honestly, don't know what to do, but like, there was like a really bad experience. Oh God! Basically, I was just getting a drink at the bar, and they called both Azul and I, lady. By the way, it's a fake. It's already a fake cry, right? Yeah, if you're, if you're doing that, because no, who sets up their phone and like can like keep crying? Like you know what's going broad. Yeah, you're yeah. associated. She has a friend named Azul. Azul, yeah, yeah, yeah. All I know is if yeah. this were, if this were a JOI, I'd be asking for yeah, my yeah. money back. I was J-O-I-C-E-I-P-O-V. hanging. J O I C E I P O V. I was <laughs> hanging with purple and blue and red and green. <laughs> they don't even like their friends. Don't even they're not, they don't even they're like their colors. They like don't even exist. Beelzebub and Azul. She has a horse tail butt plug in while she's doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, some people don't remember. Oh, uh, hear her non binary boyfriends rubbing her back. I didn't know. And in a gay bar, so we should. Don't say boyfriend, dude. You don't know if that's a woman or not. Uh, probably okay. not, dude. Don't, don't assume gender. Yeah, sorry, Do you want to make the her hentai, cry more? The hentai t shirt was throwing me off. <sighs> Jesus Christ, June. Wait, what is she complaining about? It's she so, was called a lady, called a lady by a bartender at oh. a bar. At oh, a busy yeah. bar, I imagine, in fucking New York. Yeah. <sighs> Bad turned it around. They got so mad at me, and they took the drink away from my wife. And Dude, I- this would be the only character that they kill in Mad Men. <laughs> like Mad Men's not a violent show, but like if she existed in Mad Men, I mean, oh, she yeah. looks you know she has like the red lipstick. She's yeah. wearing like the nineteen like the nineteen fifties. <laughs> like don't ever be now, like. What if I told you we could kill her? <laughs> What if I told, what if I told you? you I had a handgun? We've exhausted all of our options. She cried <laughs> over us calling her late. <laughs> Should what we is throw this? her out of the window? <laughs> he goes to a gay bar. He's like, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> 
I say we o- recreate the opening montage of the show and throw her out a window. <laughs> <laughs> They're pitching a, a, a doll called Retard based on her. <laughs> you can press these go, buttons. Don Drake, it's called Retard. <laughs> Somebody at a bar that gets offended, you called them a lady. That's obviously a woman. It's going to ruin the world. <laughs> the, the doll wets itself. And it has a weird Samoan boyfriend. <laughs> he hit the bar. She's like, wasted. Because he was like, are you serious? You're Dude, I don't, you're, don't jump to conclusions. Nah, yeah, These people are naturally drunk. Yeah, let's yeah. not yeah. blame booze well, on they're drunk, somebody's... They're, they're drunk on, on the on the, uh, society, like whatever yeah. society yeah. has like forced them away to think, or yeah. I mean, trends and, you know. Well, she's not drunk. She got her drink taken away from her. Yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. I wonder why. <laughs> Wow! And then they kicked us out. Yeah. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Like, how am I supposed to feel? This is the oh, first God. time that I've like told somebody I felt brave enough to tell somebody my identity. And I just wanted to let him know. And I told him it's okay that you didn't know. He was still mad at me <laughs> for being myself <laughs> and for, for my being wife. Myself. Yeah, you're annoying. What are you talking about, lady? And he cuts to the bartender. He's like, ah, she was fucking taking a piss behind the. <laughs> Bar. <laughs> I would love to see her at that bar in the famous Boston video where that guy walks by. The Tam? Yeah, the Tam. In Bo- Have you guys seen that video? Oh, no. oh it's no. real funny. The bar's open. Yeah, fa- you faggy. Fa- faggy. And then that guy goes, oh, your mother. Oh, your mother. Yeah, it's the best. You haven't seen that video? No, turn that on. You haven't seen that video? No. Bro, are you kidding me? It's no. the greatest video in oh my human God. history. I haven't either. I might have seen it. Oh, by the way, no. how do I find it? Though? I always have this problem. Just put just put in the, the tan Boston. I think I bookmarked Don't it. Search I bookmarked Twitter. it. I put in the tan Boston. Search. Devin there can't search. No, I have uh, it. I have it's it. Such, it's it's so on, frustrating. On, you can't look on YouTube. It's, he's an auto. It's YouTube. not on YouTube. It was on Twitter. The it's guy on posted YouTube. It. It's, it's on, on YouTube. How to get I, it's to insane. It. Go on YouTube. He'll never find it. Type John, in the, the you know what? Boston. Every time you've had the sticks, you just look at fucking. <laughs> he he sacrificed. He, he throws me to the wolves. He acts like I can just come up with a show on on. Which, by the way, I did a good job. John for has on no the fly. clue what he's did ever doing. Did a good job. Anytime on the fly. he takes over the podcast, I walk outside. Good I go job take a on piss. the fly. I come in. John's just like doing his taxes on the show. <laughs> First yeah. video. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking hilarious, right? The bar is full. It's fucking hilarious. You can change your own bear, you mother! <laughs> That's my favorite yeah, video ever hilarious. in human existence. Right? It's the bar incredible. Is full. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, it's hilarious, right? Oh, you bear, you your mother! mother. <laughs> and then this guy, bag it, and then this guy laughing. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's like the greatest encapsulation of guys. By the way, I've ever seen in my I've been, life. so many nights. I've been to Boston maybe twelve times at this point. Yeah. I always get a drink of the Tam because of that video. <laughs> I walk in, I salute the sign, <laughs> and then I get hammered there. Is it like those types of guys there, or is that just like a special yeah, night? It's those guys there. They're there? I, I mean, dude, if I saw those guys, I'd ask for their autographs. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like take photos of them. Yeah. Go, <laughs> I go, do the line, do the line, dude. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Isn't that the greatest video of all time? Oh, it's fantastic. Now, I w- imagine they bust into her home. <laughs> also, just imagine this girl they, was at the TAM. Imagine yeah. this girl is at the TAM. And they go, oh, you're not a lady, huh? You fucking faggot, faggot, faggot. You fag cunt. Oh, my oh, God. God. By the way, in that video, I couldn't, I just couldn't imagine, like, as an adult being like, and they were, like, really mad at me. It's like, that's a nine-year-old. Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. a baby. Well, that's what, that's what these people have done, like... This type of whatever this shit is, this thing where people don't have anything and they 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 they, they, they they're non-binary and they they have all these like you have to call me by this and that and blah, whatever. I don't mean to sound like you know like I'm a guest on Rogan, but like it, it's because they had they lived through an infantile lens. 
yeah. a lot of this is like they're infantilized. Then there are like some mature non-binary people. I'm sure they exist. But yeah, people but if you're like mature this, non-binary, you don't. You don't make videos start, like this. You don't start crying right, if exactly. somebody goes, "What's up, dude?" Yes, you just exactly. go, "Actually, it's this," and you yeah. go, "Okay, yeah, sure, like, cool." Yeah. Fist bump. I've never yeah. even seen that in real life either, though. I think you just shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. yeah. They don't care. If you're Have mature, you been, you're yeah, just actually, like, I've I get never, it. I don't think I've ever been corrected. Yeah. And I've been no. around people where I'm like, I don't know, you could be in V for Vendetta, or you, I don't know what you are, <laughs> but, like, but I'm going to call you dude because you're a man. But like, I, yeah. they, they could be like, no, you don't call me that. But they never do that because they just yeah. know they don't want to do that. If they look like chicks, I call them ma'am. That's the rule. Ma'am? Ma'am. Or I've lady had a lot of people shit. be upset at me for saying that. I just, dude, I call everyone dude by default. I That's say sick, dude. Though. What's up, dude? Yeah. That's sick. John though. also is quite bad at this because oh, remember one time we went to Manuela, remember? And John, we were meeting our friend Haley. Yeah. And John came to join us and he was trying to be, because he's like a an industry. He's a service oh, industry. Oh, I asked that lady if she was pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. There was a lady. Like that a, was actually she looked fucking weird. There was bro. a lady in a tight black she, dress. I mean, that was a bad. John so asked fucking, a dude, fat she, woman she that looked, was working at no. this place if she was how far along she was. She looked like, like sincerely. The, she looked like the fucking coffee alien from fucking Men in Black, dude. It was she was like thin, but it had this so big fat belly. The cockroaches, like the no, long, the coffee, the ones that drink coffee in the little apartment. Yeah, the, 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 the long cockroaches. Yeah, yeah, long cockroach. yeah, yeah. Oh, the, I thought the cockroaches in the head, but they they like she had a big giant belly, but she was like skinny, and she was walking around in a dress that was way too tight. She had a fat. Deposit. Yeah. It did look. Like, it John, was. John visits like a poor African village. He <laughs> goes up to like a nine year old, being like, "How far along are you?" The like, whole fucking village no. is pregnant. I, 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 didn't, I didn't know eating flies was great for <laughs> pregnancy. Oh my god! All I these literally, children are pregnant. <laughs> I, I called. I called. I called. <laughs> I have like I have like four like Latino contractors who come and visit me at work sometimes and like there was an old white guy who came to the bar who had a literal like Anton Chigurh haircut that was white and I didn't see him at the corner of my eye but said what would you like ma'am and he looked like an old lady and the guy had turned and he like visibly was like shaken by that and then every Latino guy started laughing at him but yeah I misgendered by the way th this is a weird coincidence it's well, that's not your fault you were around like Latino hyenas yeah they were like hey, you gotta play it on me yeah. a Latino hyena came up to us on the pregnancy <laughs> <Latino night>. hyena. <laughs> just so oh complete. yeah, he agreed, so with, complete, he agreed. with the term. So, yeah. so oh, just like yes. immediately, yes. like it didn't even phase him. So yes. two things happened was yes. uh, first she sent us all shots, and she, I think she was so like humiliated that she was like, "I have to acknowledge this." Here's a bunch of shots. She bought us a round of shots. The next thing that came, the guy who brought them over was a Mexican waiter, and he goes, "Did you call her pregnant?" That's right. He, he, like, was started so laughing. he was like, he was like, he's like, he was like, he must have hated this fucking chick. Yeah, he was just yeah. filled with joy. He's like, tell me again, what did you say? Yeah, no, no, they like they, everybody at the restaurant. Everyone talks in about the it. back was talking about yeah. it. Obviously. Yeah. Why are you wearing that fucking sock? But then John made it worse because she came out. She walked past us, and John apologized. Yeah, I'm a nice guy. Like Everybody, nobody yeah, wants to but, talk about it. But yeah. it was one of those weird situations where an apology makes it worse. Yeah, she had been moving on. She had been moving on. And you're drawing yeah. more attention to her stomach. And then yeah. we had to have this awkward moment where she's like, "No, I guess I'm just." And then everybody, she got a big gun. Yeah. Weird. Everybody just goes like, "Oh, what? She's pregnant." And you look right at her stomach instinctually. So now she's just like, "Oh, this. Yeah. God damn it." Hopefully, she learned a lesson that we were all just. Just touching so it. it. It turned into like the whole, the, the whole restaurant's just coming up and touching her just belly. Putting my, the belly. Yeah. <laughs> How far along are these nachos? <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was, that oh, was maybe totally that was the biggest social was blunder I think I've wow. ever seen you have. Yeah, that's actually, crazy. You're very good yeah. socially. That yeah. was the, that that was the worst I've ever seen you have. Where you called the chick fat on X at your bar. Wait, what? Really? I don't Another know. Really? Was, it, was it like... There was I like, can't stop. I've called, I've called dude chicks. Wasn't there like a chick with the black and white thing and you called her like a cow or something? No, Wait, I don't what? know when. What? Oh, she was wearing a, a black and white dress. Yeah, and he was like, and "You were like, you look like a cow." I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear to God, I remember that. Joey's oh. like, Joey's like, "Oh wait, that was me." My bad. <laughs> I don't do those. Ah, sorry, no, yeah. I'm very like empathetic. When is uh, Joey throwing on? No, no, I, I really. Other people. I swear to God, I thought Maybe, that was but John. I, I don't remember it. Oh, if that was me, I don't remember it. But uh, I'm going to try yeah. to remember it. After. John's crazy as bar. I got to say, folks, John, go go down to Tracks Union Station because hopefully he doesn't work there much <laughs> longer. I love Docs. Yeah, I'm the most Docs guy on him and his. Well, they already know guys, who you are. Guys they already take know, that's photos why I said of it. me. It's fucking They already weird. come and take photos of you. Yeah. So. 
And don't act. At least like you know, at least in a big fucking it. rush from it. You love it. John I, likes talking to people and meeting them, but I get why it's John creepy. John texts me like every few days, like, dude, these fans came in, they fucking. Rah, rah, rah. No, if they come in, it's cool, but when they like take photos of me, it's weird. He likes meeting them, but it's yeah, weird. he gets creeped That's, out. Creepy. Those are the ones I like. Those ones you like. I like those ones too. They follow me to my car. Me. Just take a very good photo of me from a distance. <laughs> I like the Lee Harvey Oswald yeah, fans yeah, yeah. that come and they set up shop in the back. It's a photo. hundred <laughs> yards away. Devin's like, oh, there's a fan here. And you're like, where? He's like, he's a hundred meters over there. He's binoculars. He's got a ghillie suit on. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, come to the bar. I'll talk to you. But John is hilarious at his bar because I took Connor there for the first time the other day. And like... You're, it's it's wild. You're like a great bartender. Yeah. It took you a while to actually get the hang of like making people drinks like properly, but like, but yeah, you, it took like two years. You got really good at it two years in. <laughs> Yeah. That's, that's but personality wise, he's the best personality bartender. Personality wise, best bartender of all time. I'll yeah. see John. I'll I'll show up there and I'm standing in the line and John is talking about like how like how many how much he comes. <laughs> yeah. And he's like completely unaware. And then there's an old lady like, excuse me, I want more Pinot. Yeah, and John's yeah. like, oh shit, sorry, lady. And he like pours her like a glass of Chardonnay or yeah. And John's just been talking about like jizzing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you are like a bartender from like a Judd Apatow movie in like 2008. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, mm-hmm. I, I try to. We're like your buddies there. And you're like, dude, yeah. I need to get my dick sucked. And yeah. You're like, another gin and soda. All right, I got you. <laughs> I gotta keep it like if kids are around, I gotta be like, oh, you know. Yeah. But yeah. I was, I met Where are kids allowed at the bar because <laughs> the kids are allowed in my bar. They can't sit at the bar, but it's technically a restaurant too. So there's like children in my bar sometimes. Oh. It's technically yeah. a train station. It's, yeah, a, train it's station. a shitty train station <laughs> yeah. for vagrants. And yeah, I yeah. met a so many the same people there. The train station, in my <clears throat> mind, it's a beautiful, it's a very classy bar. Beautiful. Yeah. Who are those yeah. people that? You always say are fans of us that are there. Oh yeah, yeah. They're they're. Uh, I met them through the podcast. Matt and Hannah. They're really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. They come by. They uh, they they they're the nicest people. They're great. Yeah, they're they're so there nice. like weirdly like most well because times, I like, ask I them come. what they're up to or they ask me what I'm up to and I'm yeah. like hey come by yeah no but uh that and then uh dude fucking did we talk about Crookshank. The uh, first, the first gun corner guy. He Elliot, came by. me. Elliot, did we say it on the pod? So, yeah. so, so, Connor, to catch you up, a f- uh, fan of the show, Elliot Crookshank, uh, Australian uh, maniac. He, uh, great fan though, great, great guy. He was on the Patreon uh, for a while, just going off, on brutalizing me, brutalizing John, turn him into mincemeat. Showed up, pulled a knife on me, had a switchblade. Wait, like what? as a joke before he went to have a cigarette, oh. he like pulled a switchblade on me, and I was like, "What the fuck?" And then yeah, no, he went. It was funny. But then he turned. He's a little like twenty two year old excited it guy. It was funny. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah, it was, it was, was funny. Fucking it was around? a joke. Yeah, he brought his girlfriend in. Yeah, he was fucking around. No, okay. but he was like, he was. Well, just, I never heard of this detail. Well, he's I, mean, he was about to tell like a lighthearted story about a guy a troll, and then you go, he actually pulled the knife on you. Oh no, he was like joking around. But joking I was like, "Where'd you get that knife?" Or was, you yeah. just like don't stand up for yourself. No, he pulled a knife. There's a guy doing. He's doing like the fan. He then raised. There's like there's like a De Niro like, character that's going to keep showing up to your bar. Too, like, yeah. yeah. No, this this fan way. comes to the bar all the time. Like, what's his name? You're like, Danny Masterson. No, <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, he's cool. So, yeah, Crookshank was brutalizing John. He invented John's gun corner. He invented John's gun corner. We, we brought him up on the show a bunch, and he kept talking shit about how John knew nothing about guns and everything. And then we brought him up, and then I think he apologized, and then he showed up to John's Showed bar. up. He went, dr- flew to L.A. with his girlfriend. Oh. Wait, he didn't fly down for this. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. okay. No, no, no. But, like, Christ. he's, like, very, very nice yeah, little. You know, he's, like, 22. He's, like, a child. So it's, like, fucking, uh, you know, he comes in. He's I guess he works on a loading dock or some shit. He works at a timber yard or something, and he just listens to podcasts all day. But, yeah, he's, like, a super nice guy. That's cool. Yeah. He sent me a message, and he was, like, hey, is John working today? Like, is he... He knew where you worked he already. He like four times. No, yeah. he messaged me because is John working today? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I might go down to the, visit him at the bar, and I was just like, I don't know. The dude messaged John like, I don't. I, I. We're gonna be in court someday because we yeah. accidentally yeah. just told somebody like, yeah, he's there. <laughs> yeah, and I get my head blown off. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, yeah, I've had I've had other encounters. This one guy came in one time and like. uh he was like going to Tijuana, and then he like he like just came back and talked to me about banging hookers, and I was like, yeah, that's like what I think our most of our fans are like, basically. But, a fan, the oh, fan yeah, said a fan. that to you. Yeah, he was like, the weird thing is, is they'll come in and what I think they're name? too nervous. I don't remember. What's his social? <laughs> yeah, talk but to him. He, uh, but him back. I think I think they'll be too nervous to talk to me for like twenty minutes, and then they'll come up to me and like really random, like I'm a Russian spy or some shit. They'll be like, like the podcast, by the way, and then I'm like, why didn't you just say that? When well, you, you know, John, weird. I gotta that's say, weird. you're like a very you're you're a really pure soul for being 
comfortable with the fact that like because most people would be weirdly like in this i don't know like embarrassed about being like the guy that's serving a fan no. Sean has no, no walls. No, 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 that's you know weird. what I mean? No. That's, that's a classic like trope in movies and stuff is like the oh, waiter you mean, that's like, like yeah, known look for something. Where I'm at right and he's like, now. oh, yeah, and I'm yeah, here. Yeah. Like that type of thing. Oh, I don't care. I run that bitch. That's my fucking room. You know yeah. what I mean? It's great. Yeah, yeah. come in. I mean, it's happened to me in New York. I was a mover for five years mm-hmm. and I've shown up to clients' places and like 20 minutes into the move, they're like, did I see you at the Bell House last night? And I'm, like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. And they're like, you were so funny. And oh. I'm like, where do you want your couch? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I had a guy, I had a guy recently, like right before I moved, where I was, it was like an hour into the move. Like we're at the unload now. We're moving into his new apartment. And he goes, uh, by the way, are you a comic? And I go, yeah. And he goes, uh, yeah, I think I seen you at the Union Hall a couple of times. And I was like, cool. And as a joke, I was like, was I funny? <laughs> and he goes, not my thing. Holy oh, no. Shit. And I what was like, scumbag. holy sh- I'm holding a box of yours right now, man. Just drop it. Yeah. Oh, that guy's dude. like a legitimate piece legitimate of shit. Legitimate psychopath. That, yeah, that guy is sick. I don't care. I was like, even if you didn't think I was funny, you're supposed to lie just to lie. me right yeah. now. Yeah. 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 Lois, you're kicking a man while he's down. You know? That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's sadistic. People are like, actually, yeah, they turn, they turn into monsters. That's yeah. sadistic. Yeah. Man, especially with me, too. People are just Connor has a thing about him, folks. We'll, we'll wrap it up on this. Let's talk about because this is a fascinating thing, and I've wanted to get into this for a while. And now he's here. Now we we can we we'll do months on this. But like, Connor makes people uncomfortable because he's so handsome. All right. He's so white, <laughs> and, and no, and he's bizarrely like hilarious. And, and he's no got one, like a great head of hair. No too. one's he used to be ever jacked. met a guy. He's still pretty. He's still jacked, jacked but he used jacked, to be dude. big. No dude. one's met. No one's met a guy as jacked, white, and like with this good of a jawline yeah. as Connor. Look at that chin. That is funny, and it fucking freaks people out. And I, I've known Connor. How long have we known uh, since twenty uh, thir- ten years? Ten years. I've never seen anyone get more unwarranted, bizarre <laughs> hate in my entire life. Like, people are just like, I fucking hate that guy. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, and I go, have you ever met him? And they go, no. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, wait, what? If yeah, you have exhausting. one real conversation with Connor, it's so disarming, because you're like, oh, this is the most down-to-earth guy ever. He's from Tahunga. He's like a working class yeah. dude. But no, he looks like a I guy who is I couldn't look less like a working class. You look class. like a Wall Street a uh, guy who's not funny at all. You look like yeah. you ride on yachts and yeah. eat like shrimp and look, in New York I look like I got a moving job to piss off my dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, to so, like have fake adversity. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need the company, dad. I'll make my own way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hate never comes from above, you know what I mean? Yeah, people just I don't know, it's weird, dude. Yeah. What it's, was this fucking show with those trendy Brooklyn uh, hosters oh, the other night? Yeah. Those, no, these Brooklyn oh, This was one of my last sets Guys, in New York. Listen to this shit. This is Oh my god. <laughs> wild, dude. So I uh I'm I'm doing the show at Union Hall, which is a place I was at all the time, which mm. is a great venue. I don't you know, Union Hall's great. Um, it's it's great. You were there, Joey, right? Where uh but, No no you I no. guess you weren't the right no, no, no. I ran a show there for like three or four years. And uh, I'm doing a random uh, show. It's my friend Joey Dardano. It's yes. his show. It's Sunday night. Joey it's like Dardano, who I, I verbally abuse. I love, but I, I, I guess I got drunk and I like told him he like he like sucked the ass. And, <laughs> and I, yeah. I, I, I kind of told him he was well because I love him. Yeah. Oh yeah, out of love. It's out of love. Okay. It was, it was out of love, and I, I just was like, what do you? Because he was up there. He's like a dancey. He's a dancing like. <laughs> Isn't this Carter's good friend? This is mean. No, That's it's not right. mean. I love Joey. Yeah, yeah. He's an extremely talented guy, but he's a very like 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 animated guy, and he's funny when he's like doing like his thing. Theatrics, dude. And I watched the set. He did like fifteen to twenty minutes up top, and he was just he was like pretending he was like Seinfeld or like you know, Stanhope or something. He, he he's Farley, and he's and he's one of the funny like Joey's made me laugh harder in person than almost anyone I know. Yes, like physical wacky comedy. Yes. Legitimately hilarious guy. I am not lying. I love the kid. I'm just saying, like, it was bizarre because I I went to New York once and I saw him and he was up there fucking doing the bachata and, like, <laughs> do, you know, like, like doing crowd work and, like, killing. And then I saw him the second time and he was up there like, everyone ever, ever think about death? <laughs> yeah, and, like, observational bullshit. And I was like, it was, it was, it was bizarre. Yeah. So I shit on him in, a, in an Uber and I was mean and it was bad and I felt bad the next day. <laughs> what were you saying? Were you saying you stick to the I was wackiness? Just, I yeah. was just saying you're not funny and, like, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, like, what the hell was that tonight? You, like, really? in the show and it was bizarre. Meanwhile, I'm getting heat for <laughs> making fun of Gavin Matz and... No. Oh, 
Okay. Well, Dropped a lot of names no over here. No more names. Sure. Yeah, sure. I defended Gavin Matz. So I'll put that on the record. Gavin Matz is a good guy. Not your own best friend, Joey Dardano. I, I was saying he's the funniest guy he I know. He just said he's a Absolutely. Senator. He's a buffoon. Devin. He would be one of my groomsmen. No, but I'm right? telling you that it was a bizarre night because he was trying to turn it. He was trying to be like a like an observational comic. Okay. And it was like a lot of long setups. And it was like, I was like, this isn't the guy that I knew. And like, yeah. you're not even doing what you were supposed to be doing. Like, you're funny. Like, do what you know how to do. So I just I went off in the Uber and it was it was bad. I was like hammered and it was my first night in New York. I had no sleep. It was it was a horrific <laughs> flight and you know whatever. I'm gonna give myself some, some excuses. I, I'm not I'm not that bad of a guy, but I was I was being a little wild. Yeah. So, so I didn't see him the whole week. I was out there. He never hung out with me. And then I saw him at like the the last day, the second to last day I was there, and he did a show and he went up and he killed. Yeah. In a packed room, and he was like very legitimately funny, but he was doing his old school shit. He was doing what I told him. And by he, the way, he starts a set by going, he goes, Yeah, he starts a set. This set's dedicated to Devin Costa in the back who told me I should kill myself the other night. <laughs> that's very funny. Yeah. That's very funny. Yeah. That is not a good way. Yeah, so I, I felt, I felt, I think it, I think it helped everyone. Sure. Well, he also just respects you so much, so that's why, you know. And I, I, the, the, the thing that I felt nervous about all week was I was like, Yeah, I did that because I, I do, I don't, I'm not going to like talk shit about somebody I like have, I don't care about at all. What are you doing, John? Oh, God. You're going to miss the story. I, well, John, you're missing a story right now about a guy you don't know or have any, who will never meet. <laughs> well, the story has nothing to do with Joey. No, but yeah, anyway. So, so uh, yeah, that that was what, that was my Got experience it, okay. with that guy. He left at the worst possible time. Whatever. Yeah. He, we, listen. And now you're going to go back into your story. And I, I know. I'm going to tell a story, and then he's not going to be well, here. I'll tell like, him this is what I'm saying. I'll fill him in out later. Yeah, we'll fill him in. So, anyway, Connor. No, let's keep talking about Joey. So, I, you know, I <laughs> shit all over this guy. <laughs> I just keeps repeating myself. Did we do Gavin Matt stuff? No. No, to dude. To fill in time. No. Oh, then go back to your story. I'm going to do Gavin Matt. Well, Gavin's like a good comic. Great comic. Yeah. Joey Dardano isn't. <laughs> No, but okay. So what happened? What do you t what do you mean? Like, what? Uh, you, uh, Gavin Matz was like, what? You told me he like was telling a story. <laughs> sure, I was hanging out with Gavin in Ma person. Con Connor was hanging out with us. In By the way, we're like this name dropping. This name dropping is crazy. I'm only doing this because Connor won't go back into his story, and I need to be talking because we're on a podcast. Well, all right. I get. I mean, should I? Or no? Well, well you were you were like hammered. I'll let you guys right? decide. You were like hammered. Joey's Joey's being very funny. I heard, I heard he was destroying. Yeah. <laughs> it, was just, it was just very funny to watch a guy come into a room not knowing any a single person. You know what it then, was? It yeah. was people not being sick of me yet. Yeah. And when you first... <laughs> 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 it's like when you first get right. a taste of so me, you're, you're like, you were using that. Novel. You were using that against people. Yeah. Sure, exactly. And then yeah, uh, you're like, hey, new city. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, I'll burn this to the ground also, and go back home. <laughs> also, he was on time that night. Joey was being awesome. Yeah. So funny, yeah. you know. I heard. Yeah, I had, not only you. I had like numerous sources. Garrick was also Garrick, there. Yeah. I actually really liked him. Uh, but so at some point he told like a long story, and then me and my boy Napoleon Emil. Emil, yeah. Emil. Okay, you've mentioned this guy like a I million love him. times. I fucking yeah. love him. Yeah. I love Napoleon. And yeah. uh, Ryan Donahue. Yeah. My boy, love him. Same here. We were goofing on Gavin, but I actually really thought he was a nice guy. But anyways, John's back. Let's hear the rest of this. Yeah, John, <laughs> I had a fucking... Very good. <laughs> Bring up a bunch of people. <laughs> so long story short, right Joey... Right kicks ass. Long story short, this guy kept like like telling a story, and Joey just kept fucking with him. Basically. Kept going, gotta be honest, buddy, this story stinks. And yeah. then like Napoleon and other guys would be like, what the fuck, dude? Like they started <laughs> joining in, just being like, dude, this sucks. It was a, just a funny pile-up. It was well, that's classic. Yeah. That's what you know. Um, you and I were fucking. Uh, that's what we do every day. We're we're street people. We, we're, we're street. We're people. street rats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're monsters. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Dude, sorry. So I'm doing this show. Um, Sunday night Union Hall. There's been like 15 people there. So mm -hmm. It's dead. And that room seats like about 100, 120. Oh wow. So it's light. And Joey's hosting the show. And he goes up. He does a great job. And it was like a 15 people audience, but they were like in it. You know what I mean? It was like, yeah. all right, we're small but mighty. Yeah, this will be fun. And uh, at the start of the show, there was this couple in the front row who were like hipsters in like 2006. You know what I mean? Like, uh, post punk hipsters. Yeah, like yeah. out of date kind of, but yes. they never like yeah. moved on. And he's like, he's like pudgy from drinking IPAs, and mm. she's wearing like big stupid glasses, and like she was almost like rockabilly. 
Oh God! Sucked, they, right? they were they were yeah. behind the times with sucking ass. Yes, no, it was exactly. just like wow, that's crazy. Yeah, that's like an inception of sucking. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> they sucked ass when they were new. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I uh, a couple of people drop out of the show. I'm closing it out. Joey's like, you can do a long time if you want. You know, you can do 30 minutes if you want. And I was like, well, I don't. There's fucking 15 people here. I'm not gonna do 30 minutes. You know. Yeah. Anyway, the show goes on. They're great. Everyone's awesome, especially this couple. They're, mm-hmm. like, phenomenal. They get, they're they getting called out by every comic, being like, you guys are the best. And they're like, yeah, we're the laughers. Uh, you know? <laughs> oh, we love comedy so much. And I was like, all right, well, I'm excited. I'm actually doing a long set tonight, yeah, you know? right. I go on stage, and I am, I hate saying this, but I'm crushing. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. it's 50, like, everyone was doing well, but I was, like, head and shoulders yes, yes. above. Like, it was productive. I did new material. I'm on stage for about 12 minutes at this point, and I look down at them. Whole time, they're just mad dogging, arms crossed, frowning at me. Mm-hmm. And I was mm-hmm. like, all right. And I ne- I would never normally do this, but I was yeah. just like, I got to be honest, guys. I'm having a time of my life up here, and you guys haven't even smiled at me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they go, yep. And I go, okay, yeah. what was that? Do you guys, like, really uh, hate me or something? They go, Yep. Whoa. <laughs> what? And I go, why? Like, what happened? They go, it's the whole thing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, what's the whole thing? And they're like, it's just the jokes. They saw. <laughs> oh, no. That story, it went nowhere. <laughs> audience members ever. The best audience members I've ever seen were like, the story it dragged on. <laughs> and then they go, and the way you look, ugh, oh, this whole no. like yeah. 90s boy aesthetic, it sucks, man. It's just like, it's oh, so, they, go, they literally go, everything about you, man, it's trite, dude. Yeah. Trite? Oh. They drop trite like three times. It's just trite. The jokes are trite. The story's trite. The way you dress, it's trite. And then they go, you're mid. What, dude, wow. blow their brains! I was out. like, "Oh my I'm god!" Also, by the way, adopt, by the way, adopting black uh, black culture. And also, black they're like forty. Yeah. Did you let them have it, dude? No, because oh. it was one of those things where I'm like, I mean, I did. At it one was point. bizarre. It wasn't it was, even like a normal. Like, you were heckle. there? No. no, but I heard Connor told me about it. I was like, "That's like I don't even know what." I I was so. Do. I also you know like I one thing I've learned about stand up. If, like, if I was there, I would have like shanked. I that's why yeah. I was like, yeah. okay. I you know I'm still in the game, so I'm still doing stand up, and it's just like I've just learned something where it's like it's never fun to be the angry guy. Yeah, like, yeah you don't yeah, want to yeah. lose your cool. It's a fine line. The only thing you have on stage is your composure. You yeah, know what I mean, and you let that go, then you're a psychopath yelling at the audience, and that's not fun. Yeah. So I was really just inquisitive. I was like, so boy, I mean, I don't get like what happened. You know, I was like, really, where did I, I go was being, wrong? I was being so mild yeah. too, because I have material where like if they were upset, I would still think they're pussies, but I go fair. Sure. Yeah, I didn't yeah, do yeah. any of right. that shit. I was self-deprecating. I was observational, you yeah. know, and uh, they just kept hammering away. Like, and it sounded like dialogue. It was like, so it was almost like they had written premeditated. Oh, wow. And I was they were, so, they're, they're self-hating white people. Yeah. I was self-hating white people. And they just hated me. Cause I wasn't like, I don't know how to exist in a black space. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you didn't do jokes I'm like that. I'm just so, confident. And they yes, were like, yes. fuck you, man. And they yeah, were like calling me misogynistic what? and racist. And I was like, I talked about Tom Cruise for five minutes. Like, what are you talking yeah. about? And, uh, they kept hammering away at how I look. It was so weird. Yeah. Yeah. And at one point, I was like, you guys are more mad at how I'm dressed than anything else. Like, yeah. And I was wearing this like New York Knicks uh, like Looney Tunes shirt, which is a, it's a cool shirt. Sick it's a great shirt. shirt. Yeah. You wore it the other night. It's, a, no, it's an awesome shirt. It's an awesome shirt. And the guy goes, dude, this whole fucking like, Warner Brothers shirt, it just it sucks ass, dude. Like, And I was like, what's wrong with the shirt? And he goes, maybe it was like an H&M type thing. And I was like, what are you talking about? Meanwhile, they're wearing like striped like t-shirts. They look like Tim Burton robots. They look like Tim Burton robots. And uh, (sighs) like, they look like Coraline. You know what I mean? Oh, no. And uh, and then he goes, he swear to God, he goes, dude, maybe if it was like one of those like Warner Brother shirts. Oh. Like if you see the police Warner Brother. Oh yeah, that's sick. I was like, dude, you suck so bad. And at one point, I had to like clear the air. I was like, by the way, just so everyone knows, none of this hurts my feelings because you guys look fucking retarded. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're the most retarded people I've you ever seen. You said retarded? I said retarded on stage like three times. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Dude. And, yeah, and, yeah. And, and Devin it, always hears the reader. Go ahead. And it yeah. killed. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm at a very like progressive venue. Yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. And I've been there. Yeah. And uh, yeah. they deserved it so much. Yeah. The whole I, audience knew they deserved it. Because we're over oh. it, too, by the way. Dude. Oh, yeah. Those yeah. people don't know how in the past they are. Yeah. 
Well, that they, they like might it, as well. They might as well ha- like be in the eighties. They might as well have like uh, what? What is that? Like horrible? Like like the like mullets? mullets yeah. They yeah. Might, Jerry curls? Like they're they might as well be eating fondue? Like they don't even know how behind the times they are. Yeah. How about this theory? They came in high on cocaine, and then by the time you get on stage, it wore off. Yeah, I think they were very drunk. And they start and, sobering and up. And I think they start sobering up. Yeah. But also, that has nothing to do with it. No. They, it's their, a thing about Connor. Er, their erratic behavior maybe like made them talk. At, they also kept saying I was asking for it. And I was what? like, I was like, I just, you know, like I'm having a good time up here and you guys are not. So I'm like, trying to, I'm being, I'm being like a good. Connor, you know what's interesting about that? It kind of sounds like what rapists yeah, say. Yeah. Odd verbiage for a progressive venue. Exactly. So, yeah. dude, so I get off stage. And I'm like, that was insane. By the way, I was on stage for 30 minutes. Like, Damn, brother. Just talking to him. And um, I walked backstage, and this girl who was on the show was like so embarrassed. She's like, oh, my God, Connor, I'm so sorry about that. And I was like, well, it's not your fault. She goes, those are my two biggest fans. Oh, <laughs> and I go, those are your biggest fans? She goes, yeah, I'm so embarrassed. And she's like, I don't, you know, don't think I'm like with them, I, all this stuff. And I go straight to the bar because I want to like talk to them afterwards being like, what the fuck was that? By the way, like people have known, I'm. I'm jacked up. You yeah, know what I mean, yeah. yeah. Connor's jacked. Yeah, like I, I, and I, I'm on stage. My hands are shaking, but I was so unbelievably calm because I was like, I want to. He's front row. I want to kill this man. Like yeah. I want to, dude. I, I don't care how big of a loser you are. If you call me trite in mid and tell me I suck to my face, it's still gonna like have like a visceral. Of course, yeah, it's fucking awesome. Yeah. Human I mean, being. I, yeah. I'm like, I'm. I want to beat this shit. You have out of Irish this pudgy fury. Yeah. Five six. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and uh, I walked to the bar. Joey goes on stage and he like closes the show by like freestyling songs. It's very fun. He's very good at it too. Yeah, yeah. By the way, not Joey LaFleur because uh, podcast Joey fans Dardano. Are, Joey podcast Dardano. fans are like yeah, yeah, nearly yeah. retarded, so yeah. they'll just be like, Did no George just stand up? Tell me his dates. The Joey the Joey that <laughs> Devin verbally <laughs> abused. Uh, <laughs> he goes on stage and he freestyles a song about like killing them. Oh, very like good. Like how the audience should kill these people. And they spaz. They're like, you can't kill us. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, don't say that. <laughs> and everyone's like, no one's going to fucking kill you guys. What are you talking about? And yeah. they stand up and they run out of the room. And I'm oh, like, what no. the fuck? <laughs> they ran out of the room. Yeah. <laughs> they scurried like mice. Dude, they really did. And then I, so the show ends and every single person in the audience came up to me and they're like, so what was that? that and I go, so I go, what do you mean? And they go, like, do you know them? Like, we didn't get the bit. And they I was they like, were plants. They, oh. dude, everyone thought they were plants. It was so weird. It was fa- they thought it was fake. It was so weird in that left field because I was killing. Oh wow! And yeah. they loved me that they were like weird alt bit that Connor's doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, even even Yadoye, who is one of my closest friends, and he's seen me do stand for the last ten years, was in the back of the room like. Connor's pulling some weird shit right now. I've never seen Connor do <laughs> yeah. like this. Right, right. Because it was so scripted and it was like, I, dude, that's Cause, the Because they were so bizarre. Yeah, and the whole time I was on stage, yeah. I was like, dude, do I know you guys? Is this payback for something? Yeah. I right. was so confused. So, dude, everyone thought it was like fake. And I was like, that was real. And everyone's like, that was real. Like, they felt bad. And uh, I think it's over. Next morning I wake up, I'm tagging a million Instagram stories from this lady. <gasps> Calling me a misogynistic, what? racist piece yeah, of shit. Yeah, she's like she's like a tattoo artist, like idiot. White like, fragility. Do you have her inside? I don't want to. No, no, I'm not dox her. No, no, dox her. I just want to. Later. I'll, I'll show, show you later. Me. Yeah. Uh, dox yeah. her. Fuck this lady. <laughs> yeah, fuck her. I'll yeah. pull her up right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Dox her. Yeah. Dear I wanna, show. I, my whole goal in life has been to develop a, a fan base like the ONA Pest. <laughs> <laughs> and if anyone's out there wants a to. A bunch like, of homeless cats. Yeah, homeless cats. If you yeah. fuck yeah. with a Nick Knot, you're getting doxxed. Yes. <laughs> you're getting doxxed. What's she going to do? But yeah, just a million, like calling me misogynistic and racist and like abusive. Like, she kept calling yeah. me abuse, and I was like, dude, I'm pretty sure I was the only guy who was abused that night. Yeah. Like, you guys were just mean as shit to me. and From know, the crowd. Like, from it, the crowd. It, and then they kept saying I was heckling them in these Instagram stories, and I was what? like, no. Like, you I weren't even responding to the Instagram the stories. Yeah. I, I just asked them what was up. No, they're mentally no. ill. They're, men- yeah. they're, wow. men- they're mentally ill Brooklynites. But what I'm saying is, like, so I didn't do any misogynistic or racist material. <laughs> you just have that face. So, so, so it's like, I literally walked on stage, they saw me, and they filled in these blanks. Yeah. Uh, the Terminator, I've, I've the Terminator read out. Yeah. Yeah. Say, yeah. They, they go, the red scan. Yeah. I've seen it happen a lot of times to Connor, too. People just see him, and they just, they go, they get the heebie-jeebies. That's fucked up. It's because yeah. everyone in comedy or everyone going to a comedy show is out of shape. They're a fucking complete loser. Their 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 parents are paying for everything they do, and they see a guy like Connor and they go like, "Why aren't you fucking? 
on a yacht mm. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they they don't get it and they, they they feel offended. They go, "Why are you in my space?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's that type of feeling. I've seen it happen with Connor a million times. I've seen it happen with with a, with a lot of weird people. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's just funny because if you once you know him, you're like he's the opposite of that. Connor yeah. is from Tahunga. Connor is. <laughs> we keep bringing up Tahunga. Connor is. <laughs> Connor is literally like, like, Watts. like <laughs> No, but it, it's it's, it's kind of worse than Watts. Watts. It's White Watts. Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an. It's uh, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, Have not, you not, been to yeah. Tahunga, John? It, motherfucker, I grew up next you, to you it. You would yes. be spit roasted in Tahunga. <laughs> <laughs> there would be two meth heads. They'd throw you on a barbecue <laughs> and they'd fuck you to death. <laughs> Tahunga growing up was yeah, it was like it, it was like corrugated. Like, there was a lot of industrial buildings down there you know what i mean down foot down foothill yeah. the, the no. farther no that's not the, no, the, the, the fucking, sun valley not, not, yeah yeah that's what sun I'm valley yeah, has yeah. Yeah. meth and bikers it's and meth and bikers. Bikers. yeah go down foothill yeah. yeah in fact where connor's family kind of whatever they where yeah. they kind of live you have to drive through this canyon and every time i've driven through it somebody in my car that's from that neighborhood goes yeah that's where like the kkk used to like bury black people <laughs> yeah. and, you know, like, it's like insane it's like a yeah. crazy yeah. weird it's like a white ghetto it's big hell's angels I don't, white yeah. and mexican yeah. ghetto it was like yeah. it was where hell's angels ran all their meth out of in the 70s and shit crazy. But, yeah. i don't realize how crazy it is until like nights like the other night with me you and josh and me and josh are just like telling stories and you're like what? <laughs> <laughs> right. You guys are telling me shit, and I'm like, that's yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. I yeah. first bonded with Connor by saying, like, he described this uh, hometown to Hunga to me, and I said, that's like the South Dakota of California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the exact same thing. It's like a meth-filled, biker-filled wasteland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 It's pretty oh. cool. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, I think we've done some good work here. I think today. so, too. Mm -hmm. That was fun as hell. Uh, let's wrap it up. Uh, Patreon.com slash HateWatchPodcast. Uh, Connor, what, what's your stuff? Uh, Instagram's 420 Naughty Boy. Hell yeah, dude. That's why they hated you. They check your Instagram and they go, oh, what a They're horrible, what a horrible handle. <laughs> <laughs> they go, that is, I, we knew it would be that. I was dude, abused I, by 420 Naughty Boy. I always want to delete it, but Valerie works in like corporate America. Yeah. And every time one of her like coworkers finds out that I'm a comedian, they're like, oh, what's his Instagram? And she has to tell somebody who makes like $250,000 a year. She's like, it's 429 anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just punishing her. And I go, I'm back in. Maybe I'll never change this handle. No, so. fuck it, dude. You got to keep it's that amazing. forever. Yeah. I mean, I still have a Yahoo email. Like, there's like people. <laughs> that, like, there's like, like high end people that have like wanted to email me. I'm like, ah, it's yeah. easy, D. <laughs> Yahoo. Easy, <right>? <laughs> <laughs> I made it when I was 14. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Anyway, uh, we love you. Uh, thank wait, you. For wait, wait, real quick. There's yeah, a guy hey, sent merch. <laughs> Um, uh, the Illuminati guy. John, oh, I heard about somebody oh, sent you yeah. merch, but you haven't checked it, right? You haven't. No, I got it, but I forgot well, Lemon name. Party too. Apparently, the they occult sent technician. Us stuff oh yes, occult the occult technician. So he sent us a bunch of shirts Beans and hats and stuff, and, stuff. Yeah. and then he sent us the book that George Bush was reading to the kids on nine eleven. Not the actual book. But yeah. No, yeah. So it was like a copy of the book from you know like two thousand one, but it's it was addressed to Ben Avery as a baby gift to Ben's new baby. Got you. You, got you. That's so that was kind of funny. Ben, ben, ben he said a bunch saying, of stuff, uh, and it's like obviously we'll never give any of that to Ben <laughs> yeah. because it's just it's not ours safe. Now. It's, it's ours now. and it's also yeah, it's not safe. Now. You yeah. can't. It's not safe. We can't let Ben have something that his baby could be around from ben a guy. Ben takes it. His newborn child crawls on it. They 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 they, they die. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. But so, anyways, thank you for we sending love it you. Though. We love every listener. We don't trust you at all. And if you're into like the Illuminati or like a, f <laughs> I bet he's a flat earther. I don't know that, but I bet he is. Yeah. Go check him out. Buy his yeah. shit. Buy what, if, what if we ate those cookies from Anna Pittman and we like all just like. <laughs> yeah. No, Anna Pittman glycerin. is a Anna's, an, Anna's amazing. Uh, what, what is her bakery? Modern Stems and Sugar, I believe. Uh, Anna Pittman, Modern Stem and Sugar is yes. possibly. Check her out. She best cookies, uh, best hand drawn cookies in the biz. Yeah, very good stuff. And check out the uh, Low T podcast by Yarmul, yes. the man that made uh, half the shit in this room. And, and hopefully he'll fucking uh, redevelop our studio. T E A. This yeah. place yeah. sucks ass. I did a I did a bad job with this. I think it looks pretty good. You I think it looks fine. Job, I did a well, thing. It's not the worst. It's great. But there's like I a lot of shit. To hear the compliments. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, thank you for listening, folks. We love you. Uh, good night.